نشد Uh, of course you hear me uh. holy fucking shit am i still here i can hear you okay so we have technical difficulties straight from the start because my complete computer froze because it's doing all the animations at once oh 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 you didn't see these animations. It's perfectly oh, or it. perfectly organized. Perfectly organized. <laughs> okay, it doesn't show you yet, Smittler, but that will uh that will come up, I think. Welcome, Smittler. Welcome. Okay, how are you doing? At least my cam did uh <coughs> out of focus again. So that's good. <laughs> uh, I'm good. I'm hyped for the uh, three matches of today and the grand final. The grand final indeed. So, uh, three matches today. A lot of matches. That's one thing for sure. Yeah. Um, we're going to cast uh, 151 Black Wolves first against uh, Inglorious Bastards. And um, after that, uh, there will be the bronze final between whoever wins this round and whoever wins the other round from uh, um, 16th AA versus Ness. I don't know why Correct. the uh, chem is not working for you, uh, Smittler. You, you disappeared. I don't know. You disappeared. For some reason bring me um, back yeah that's something i can't do this quickly but we will look into that so smickler is a black screen he turned off this light nice um so uh first of all uh welcome everybody welcome to uh, day two of the esm tournament i'm really happy to be here again and um i'm really happy with this last brackets basically because we're going to see some uh incredible matches i think i think it's going to be incredible bronze match i think this match is going to be incredible but as well, I think that 16 AA versus Ness is going to be incredible. They all have potential to get to the third place, basically. Um, Fantastic War and... Uh, uh, how are they called? Uh, TTT. How are they called? TTT are ready in the uh, finals. They are waiting, but that day game will be at 90, or, uh, yeah, 9 o'clock, 2100. We are in summertime, so we have natural lighting. So you can see how I look uh, in the natural light um anything anything to add smittler or to that no uh, i'm hyped uh at least i saw the same players oh ne, uh we saw mati uh, at at ibc uh, we didn't saw mati yesterday if i remember correctly so uh there's mati is uh, new yep yep mati is new hey faction is back uh, as well faction is back it's back yeah that's true um and it looks like they're already missing yeah, One he's coming, at, Settler. At IBC, Settler, nice. Also, and uh, Alesto. Yeah. So, um, I want to go back uh, really quickly into the tournament brackets, and uh, because the game, because my switching scenes didn't work perfectly, um, I've got the upper bracket list here. So, if I'm showing it, you can show it. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Specially made for us. Um. TTT2 won against uh, IBC and uh, won uh, TTT2 winning against 16th AA and then in the grand final then we have 16th AA winning at least the first match against Navy Seals that's something they are really hoping for because they wanted to go further but got taken out by TTT in the second match in the semi-finals yeah. uh, hard to component or a hard opponent anyway 
Um, first recon didn't show up, sadly enough. Uh, and so uh, 151 got a free pass to uh, to the semifinals and sadly uh, did not win against Fantastic War there, but also a really great opponent, Fantastic War, and they hold them off quite nicely in the second round. I need to say that. Yeah. So uh, for an uh, for an uh, for a beginning team, uh, that's really good. Then uh, we have uh, VP, and we didn't see, or at least we didn't see a lot of VP. Uh, the other guys did see maybe. So, um, but they are completely out of the tournament now. They lost the uh, semi-final bracket, I think, uh, lower bracket. So yeah, that's something uh, to to look into later. Um, as well, I've heard the, the lower bracket setup list. There we go. Look at that. Specially made for us. And um, same thing um, as well. IB winning that round against First Recon because First Recon didn't show up. 151 uh, is today. We're doing that today. Navy Seals winning against VP. That's why VP got out of the tournament now. And um, uh, they are now against 16th Air Assault. If you want to see that match, you need to go to, uh, I think it's Barbarian hosting that. So um, you can switch over. Uh, the bronze final and all the other things will be hosted by all of us. So uh, this, these are the only two matches that um, didn't, uh, we don't cast all of us. There's another admin in the uh, in the chat or in the um, in the game now, so uh, everything is going really fast for me. We started really late. It's really early for us. It's eighteen hundred oh three, and the first match is started, Schmidtler. And the match is started. Yeah, I will see uh, the players at the red four side, op four side. Uh, it's IBC made of uh, uh, of Matty, of Settler, of Adamek, of. Book, uh, Book and Vexen and Skipu. I think Skipu is going for the rocket launcher. No, let's see. Rocket launcher. Skipu is Adam Mac is, Adam Mac is on the rocket launcher. Maybe Skipu is going to try to take the sniper out. No, he's just yeah. wanting another gun. <laughs> he misclicked probably. And on the other side, uh, 151 Black Wolves uh, are Vlad Snowfox. I think he's <laughs> Remember him from yesterday? Ooh, uh, oh, first rocket. nice rocket. Uh, we. Hidoris, Alesto, Polymer, and Reyes. That's the team from Black Wolves. I, uh, no, that's I, fun. I did uh, already do a little bit research around, and uh, Black Wolves uh, and 16th AA, the guys from the other match, did train this map. Uh, I did see them mm, train, okay. they did do that, and I think ABC as well. So uh, we, I'm like to see it. Reyes did hair effects in there, wins that engagement, luckily block going around and this is the map that uh, sof won against the all-time champion 88 uh again 151 with two flag defenders we've seen that against fantastic war but will that help against ibc as well that's the that's the real question i think they have a decent chance that's 100 percent sure and it's one of my favorite maps i think it's one of my favorite maps as well except storage of course first uh... storage then the rest basically so, uh, yeah, uh, we see Block going into the house soon, probably. No, we don't see it. Skipu killing Polymer there. And again, we see this, like, three guys already. And one died then. Skipu on the uh, light tower. Um, like, trying to get into the flag area to just get a touch. It's a lot of one people, or like, one-man armies. Rare's getting killed by Faxon. Door is getting killed by Block. Black is open. Flat is dead. That should be the first flag touch at least because there's three of red for there. Three of one, five, one. Polymer is there though. But Polymer is on the run. Oh, Alesto, I forgot to Alesto. Alesto. Oh, Alesto. The save. Clutch. Yep. Nice position there. Laying down in that. Uh, really hard to defend. Really hard to attack as well. If it's hard to attack, then it's hard to defend. IBC doing a lot of pressure. And in the meantime, oh, Snowfox. Snowfox. What, what happened? We, what happened? We didn't see it. They get the first flag touch in. Oh, it's the fuckers on the run. Yep. And can he bring it back? That's the real question. IBC now trying Settler there on the uh, Sand River. Adamek still alive. Snowfox just running for it. Adamek doesn't look behind him. Snowfox has a free run. And he took the, the extra, Flat and Settler the extra set long round. Yep. Flat uh, winning that engagement. Really well done. Faxon is there. Adamek is still there. Doris did change position. Alesto is still there. So they have the flag defended. Faxon in a fight with Rares. Don't run. Don't run with the flag over the line. Snowfox. 
No. No. Ooh. Ooh. Don't do it. Well, luckily he knows. He knows. He knows. Okay, now a really open route. Oh, that's risky. It is going. Is uh, Adamek upstairs? He is. Yes. So he needs to bring it back. Can he make it? Adamek waiting there. But if he can get into the bunker, it should be enough. This is the first flex score. Yes, he got it. Well Adamek. And and Adamek is angry. Yep, he wants to. Alesto is still there. Doris is still there. That's what I mean. You don't get a chance to get to the flag defenders. Polymer also already at the flag area. Did die though. Really well played. Really well played. This one, uh, one man attack. Okay, we saw the sting again. Let's let's have a fast look at the weapons. Boring, boring. AK, nice. I like AK. Uh, no, boring. even more AKs. Okay. <laughs> Who's who? 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 Some AKs at uh, Black Wolves, B90, 5.56, nothing special then. Nobody's taking uh, the over-under shotgun, Nick. That's sad. Ooh, Rares losing against two guys there. But they've got the advantage now. One flag score, one flag touch. That's really good. Still That's two really defenders. Good, yeah. And that within five minutes. It can go everywhere, of course. And we see IBC doing a lot of pressure now. Polymer, should she Matty? Should she Matty? Throws a nade, but there's more people around you, Polymer. Ooh. Kills one. Kills two. Maybe kills three. Does he see him? No, he's getting uh, crossfired by Block and Faxon. I didn't press O in the meantime. Oh, Nick. Rash always, there. always respect the checklist. Yeah, but the, the, the O is not on the checklist now. <laughs> it's something to add, basically. So uh, you can uh, do the chat, by the way. That's what I wanted to ask you yeah, in yeah, front yeah. of the match. I already yeah, saw yeah. that uh, they like my loose t-shirt, so I'm happy That's about correct, that. That's correct, yeah. <laughs> we saw Sexy Nick as Sex, well. Sexy Nick. I'm, I'm, I'm sweating. By L1. L1, yes. Block again. Defending the enemy flag. Knows where Lesto is. Now thinks the flag is open, but they forgot. There's two flag defenders. He's okay. going for it. No, he knows. He knows. What? Can he fight this? Can he win this? He should go for the touch at least. Polymer, Polymer oh. defending that flag really well done there. Oh yeah. He knew exactly what? where. Uh, uh, what was his name? Alesto. Rares. No, Alesto. Rares. 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 Mm -hmm. And Doris was so uh, he checked that corner really well done. Snowfox and Rares now, and Flat as well, still alive. Adamek did not die yet, is holding that angle, tries to fire up on him, doesn't get a kill. Snowfox and thinks he's getting fired from another way, through a nade. Flat trying to, Adamek still holding. Snowfox just don't care. Adamek should know, and he gets killed by the nade of uh, Adamek. Polymer there. Still holding. Are we going to see changes in uh, IBC? Polymer! Oh, almost getting two. Killing Settler, but didn't kill Block, sadly enough. Opens up the whole battlefield. They can just run through the, all the lines, basically. And... Um, Flat holding. Alesto holding. Doris holding. Both did change position. I like Alesto's whole position. Behind the <laughs> behind the little little pixel of the shed, basically. Adamek there, Adamek there still. Snowfox doesn't know where he is. Didn't get a call that he was on the right. A little bit of panic, I think. Oh mm, yeah. Yep, there we go. But now you need to defend, or you need to kill the two defenders, basically. That's uh, that's going to be harsh. And they know, uh, I think Blood knows there's two, because he he killed Alesto and then he checked that corner. So he yeah. knows there's two. But there's a lot of IBC people going around there. Flat now with Faxon. Flat winning that engagement. And the Mac and Block. And the Mac going first. And the Mac getting killed. Block knows where, at least both of them are, where they are. But there's Matty to support. 
Ooh, Alisto, well done. Well Peeking done, that yeah. corner. Checking if somebody comes. Polymer on the roof, though. Her Settler. Settler knows where he is. Looks around. Gets him. Rares now on the full flank. I think Rares already got uh, spotted out. And Flat and uh, Snowfox uh, taking the opportunity to just go for it. Run. Alesto and Doris still alive. Matty looks one way. Doesn't know where the Doris is. Now Settler knows where Doris is. I I have an eye on this. Ooh, oh, 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 the, oh, and the mech. It's angry again. Yes. <laughs> I did see it happening in the distance. I'm like, oh no, they're lining up. And, uh, and the mech uh, finished them off. Combat Set spread, people. Combat spread. Rare's still alive. Don't know if they know that the Rares is around there. I think he is, because Skippu is hunting for somebody. Skippu seems to, uh, wanting to flush him out. Is Settler waiting? I think S Settler is I waiting, think Settler's for... waiting for, for support, yeah. Yeah, and they are, they did a nice, they did a nice push with together, and now IBC is pushing back, back up them. Two defenders really helps, uh, 151 out. Almost okay. killing his friendly there. Settler killing Alesto. Knows exactly where he was. Really good call oh, out there. Oh, it's Doris. Ooh, didn't oh. die. Ooh, there's block. That's a chance. That's a chance. It is. Polymer and Rares are still there, though. And suddenly they have the flag. Five people around their flags. And they're holding. Killing Alesto. Okay, oh, so man. see if Rares and uh, Polymer can intercept. They are in an intercepting route, though. They didn't kill Skipu. Skipu did know where he is. In the meantime, Flat taking out Matty on the bridge. Long range shot. Settler bringing it back home. Polymer died by Skipu. Well defended. Don't do it, Rares. Just hold. Just wait. Just wait. Don't take the fight. Don't take the fight. You can defend it because he's walking your line. I think he's going to cross soon. Uh, I, will see. Uh, I think he wants to go. I, I don't think he wants to cross. And there's Snow Fox if he's on the right angle and he crosses. Rare should hold. Oh, Rare should hold. Rare. Yeah, but Faxon is still there. He knows it. Oh no! Ooh, the save! The save by Faxon. Picks up the flag, but Snow Fox should be running. Faxon thinks, no, I'm just going to run back to the flag. There's nobody on the flag, on the road. Hey! Matty <laughs> killed by flat, it was the wrong person. Faxon will bring this black flag back home. Yeah. Oh, do we see a lucky grenade or rocket? Ah, uh, it doesn't seem so. No, no, and no that's fox the point. Right. One, one. One, one. One, one. The match is open again. Yep. 12 minutes in, I think, roughly. And, uh... So Fox gets hurt by Faxon though. IBC coming back nicely. Now versus two. Doesn't get him. Losing control over their flag and uh, with five people attacking you, even with two defenders. Uh, like I said, it's a hard flag to defend and to attack. So uh, as soon as you kill out the defenders, I think you can easily uh, get the flag and run back basically. But then you need to clean out defenders. And... Well, IBC really, really well done by calling out where the defenders were. So they flushed them out really quickly. Alesto is still alive though. Luck oh, yeah. is on there. But uh, IBC is seen. Luck, Settler, and Vexman, and Adamek supporting wrong. Uh, Luck coming fire. around, re firing that corner. Alesto? He wins that engagement. Really lucky. Adamek and Vexman still there though. Snowfox running through. Doris did uh, come up. Is hurt though. Alesto got killed. Throw that nade in. No, nope, it will be another flag touch by Settler. Doris maybe to intercept him. Doesn't get him. Polymer in the meantime also going for the flag. Does he get it? No, he didn't get it, Polymer. Settler gets killed. killed. Yep. But now Snowfox but and Rares. Killed, but they killed. They killed Tepta, and the flag is lying on the ground. Yep. Adamek is still alive though, holding them off. They can run into it. Rares is still alive though. 
Snowfox got killed. Polymer almost grabbing that flag on the other side. Ooh, Eris getting two, maybe the third one. No, runs away. Really well done by Rares to hold them off, but they need to kill the Edemek there. That is just oh, causing yeah. a hayfuck there. there. Rares still alive though, also doing the same. Both play, both teams have one player on the other side, just causing havoc and trying to hold them up, and it's working for them. Edemek is still on fire. Ed Edemek, what? Angry, ex extremely angry. Yep. Now he's running. Now he's running. Yeah, he's chasing position. Snowfox thinking I'm going up north. Rares is still looking around, but this is good because IBC is not running through at least now. So uh, that's something. Uh, I'm happy about. So um, they keep they keep control, and Edemek does the same thing. But they have four people looking for uh, Edemek now. Edemek sitting in the building. IBC sees the opening, comes up forward. Rares is still there. Kills uh, one. Yeah. A lot. Of... Rares is still there, doing a exceptionally good job. Skipu comes now through the building. Here's him. Shoots him. Snowfox still alive. And the still, like still laying on the ground. That's good. They know it, of course. So, Fox, maybe going for another touch. Faxon hurt him. Ooh, Faxon hurt him. Well done by Faxon. If he got through, he got a touch, basically. But yeah, you need to go through first. Faxon uh, searching for that flag. Edemek's still alive. They know where he is now. And still not dead. Flag is back, flag is back, blue flag is back to spawn. Edemek surviving so much, it's unbelievable. Pick that corner. Pick that corner, Doris. Doris! Doris! Unmute your headphones! Can he look? No, he can't. Okay, so he's in a nasty building, but... Oh, Faxon is there as well. Skipu is there. I don't look... Uh... For a few seconds, and uh, suddenly everybody from IBC is there again. Edemek still alive. Skipu died by who? By Alesto. Okay, Faxon still alive. Gets spotted by Faxon though. Edemek is still alive. Edemek, really nasty position there. Well defended, but the Edemek is still alive. He needs to get flushed out. Snowfox doing a long range on. Good block, maybe killing Settler soon. Settler be hiding behind the uh what is it? Grave Grave so in a firefight. Going everywhere. Edemek still alive. Snowfox doesn't care anymore. Thinks fuck you and I'm going to run through. But Matty is there. Matty snail Snowfox. And Adamek is flushed out by Vlad. Finally. Finally. Edemek is uh, needed to be flushed out for them to control basically back and start pushing again. They had some really nice pushes, but uh, Edemek was holding them off quite heavily. That's correct. We'll see. Will uh, will the five five one five one five one black wolves? Come back to feet, concentrate again, and organize the push. The, uh, offensive rocket. Yep, they're currently on two flex scores. If or uh, one flex score and two flex touches, and here they are again with four people knocking on the door of IB of one of yeah. people one five one. Some long range shots. Need to concentrate again. Get the stuff ready, communication on track, and then organize the push. Yeah, I, I think when. I think the lowly wolf attack will not work really. They they need to it, work as a team. It can work, but like they are doing a lot of progress on this. Uh, what is it? Uh, south side. Yeah, let's call it the south side. So the south side of the sand river, yeah. and uh, they are getting fast. You know, they're getting forward pretty fast, but they need to get into the flag area. What is on the other side of the sand river? So you always need to cross the sand river to to get there. Basically, Dora's getting killed. Only Alesto alive. Faxon knows where he is. Kills one. Now Settler knows where he is. Throws in a nade. Uh, that nade. That nade. That will. They need two supporters. They need two uh, two two flag defenders. Uh, by the black wolves or. Snowfox. Snowfox. What Snowfox? 
On the run. On Holy the run. Fuck. Okay, it's equal again. Settler now comes in. Betty, they know they need to be with two of there, but it's taking too long. IBC is back. No, it's no problem. Uh, it's, it's Blackwall. Blackwall was back on the run on the flag. Polymer so. still holding there. That angle. Oh, where's Ma Matty? Matty saved the day, but Snowfox, the black is on the ground, getting cross-fired. Oh, maybe. he's going to re maybe he's going to return it. Skipwook uh, dying there by a friendly fire. Black is back. Polymer died sadly. Black is back. Okay. okay. But well, we are back to a tie. A tie, yeah. Tw Ten minutes to go, roughly. Back to a tie. IBC and uh, yeah. one five one are really uh, <laughs> Matty just. Running over the bridge, not getting hit by any shots. Rares again on the side. IBC having some really trouble with it. And Snowfox running to uh, the south side every time can get to that flag, basically. So, south side definitely is uh, a, a way to go. Two versus one. Yeah. Nice, Nate. I would say keep rares on the south side, or the north side It was is the way to go. Keep uh, rares on the south side of the river. And pushed with the rest uh, the north side because the north side is the weakest side for IBC it seems like and they it seems like yeah they can push through and get in some flag touches and that flag touches can turn around the battle because now it's even again if we look at the scores it's quite even on kills and that's as well it's 51 for blue four and 57 for IBC um, so really tight that's correct it can go all ways. Faxon on the far north side. Flat getting in. Snowfox again. Snowfox again with the massive flank. Flat holding them off. Polymer coming in. Should see them. Kills one. Block gets killed by the two. That opens the whole flank. But Faxon and Settler are there. Snowfox gets killed by Matty. Well done. Again, two flag defenders. Do they know where they are? Settler knows where Alesto is. But there's a second one, Settler. Norris! No! Wait, Doris, wait! He defends it, but it is another flag touch for IBC. A lot yeah. of flag touches don't, going don't, around. Don't bring it back, don't bring it back. Don't bring it back, Doris. That can you lose you the game, because if Faxon... Uh, a nice position, though. Nice position, though. <laughs> really nice. <laughs> Polymer now on the flag. IBC in full defense. And with the broken down building... What is he going to do? I want... Can he go in? Does he do it? No, he doesn't do it. Go in. Just go for it, Polymer. Just go for it, Polymer. Polymer, no. Go for it. You don't know, Polymer. No! no! If you went for it, you would have won the battle. <laughs> oh, oh, at least a tech touch. Okay, rare still alive. But IBC completely backed up again. Four people. Snowfox running up, Flat died, Rares is still alive. Four people in the middle, Snowfox probably will get seen by one of the guys. Kills one, Block just... Snowfox! And Snowfox getting shit. Ooh, Adam killing us, Rares there. Complete uh, 151 has been holded there. Again, two deflect defenders. It It is an even battle. That's 100% sure. They're yeah. both working hard. And it's two different tactics where one team is only having one defender and the other team having two defenders. But this is what I like to see about a IBC. They acknowledge that they have like 50 control basically and push through. They have four people every time, four people that are pushing through. Block killing flat in the meantime. Settler and block. Every but time... it looks like... It it, yeah. it looks like even even when uh, even uh, when um, when uh, the black wolves only had one one defender, mainly a single a single player. Settler. What? Does it get him? Block is still there though. Ooh, well defended by Doris. Oh yeah, good job. But yeah, and so now we didn't see really quite that the uh, the the risk of being uh, of having only one defender did not pay out that great for 
Black Wolf and they do they switch back to two defenders. Do we will see a two defender set in later games? Like, nice nade by Polymer. Snowfox should have been called out that he's Matty is there. But he's fighting so many guys. Can he go for touch? He did try it, but didn't couldn't get it. <laughs> that was close. Yeah, really close. Rares there for the follow-up there. Flat is also holding lines. They definitely trained some tactics there. Closing skip who closing the gate to make an entrance less. Flat losing all the Don't take the fight, Flat. Don't take the fight. Let Rares finish it. Go away. Just run. Where's Snowfox? Snowfox died. Polymer coming up. Rares is still alive. Flat trying to cross that open field, but knows he's been seen. Matty now killing rares and uh IBC should and, not. And Adam Mac on the lighthouse with the sniper rifle? No, it was an AK. It is a nice position with the sniper rifle, but I don't think you can see a lot. That's uh, the whole thing. It's and fun. uh yeah, if you if you have some people that if you as soon as you know that he's there. You're just uh you you're can blasted. You can control the sand river, but as no as long as they know you're there, then you get blasted away, yeah. Let again with some long range shots on Settler. Block and Matty. We didn't see Edemek again uh, with uh, oh Edemek is on the tower. Rares is there, Matty is still there. Should he hear yep. open the gate? Yep, he heard. And he wins that engagement, Matty. <laughs> Flat is still there, though. Kills one. Knows where the second one is. Isn't he reloading? But he doesn't look away. No, he, he wanted to pistol him. <laughs> he, oh. switched, he switched to his pistol because he got shot by Edemek, I think. So he wanted to pistol him close range, but it didn't work out. <laughs> Matty now in Adamek's house, Adamek all the way on the other side, so they switched around some, and now Snowfox again, on the end. Alone. Alone, Alone, I must go. Oh, yeah, you don't Matty. kill the flag defender, you die. Matty is pushing, Matty is pushing, nobody's seeing him! What?! Oh. Matty! Holy! Oh, the building! Alesto okay. and Settler dying there. So, uh, the building is down. Yeah, that's making a new, faster entrance into the spot. Faction running up. Flat there, though, looking the other way. Does it win that engagement? Polymer still alive on the other side. Dora still alive. Alesto now back. No, folks. Now the black fog. Uh, now the black wolves need uh, two flag touches or one flag score because one flag score. One flag score can make the difference. Yes. Yeah. And I'm, they, will, I... they will. They will overrule every flag touch then. Flex in there though. They try. Doors getting some long range shots in. Seems that he can't win that. Doris. Doris normally defending. Now suddenly goes for the offensive. No fox running. Maybe another three minutes to go. Maybe another flag touch in to make it a little bit more even. Or three minutes, yes. Over the flag score, everything can happen. I would like to see some more communications between them. They definitely did try trying a new thing. Flat uh, killing Matty there in the middle. Snow fox again on the side. And don't, remember that Snow fox almost made the flag score going back. Eh? So uh, yeah. Adam Mac is still on the lighthouse. Polymer on the far side. Rares running through the middle. Flat is there as well to follow up. A sort of basket are going around IBC at the moment. They need to hold off two minutes. Vexing gets spotted. Flat doesn't look around. Oh, he does. See Settler. Doesn't kill him. Oh, Snowfox. Yeah, but Flat sits still there. Adam Mac now knows that it's going to be tight. Comes down from the lighthouse. Polymer still alive. We will probably fight Polymer there. I like the fact that the Polymer is trying. Yeah, 
Block getting killed by Thresh, Polymer getting killed by Edamek, Flat is still alive, Matty is still alive, they know there's still people around, Thresh gets killed there, Dora should move up, he does that. Ooh, you got that Nate. He gets seen though, doesn't kill anybody. Oh, thanks well, Arma Pixel. Yep, <laughs> Arma Pixel, the new meme. Whoa, okay. Now the house is finally gone, I like that. IBC, uh, having some panic game. moments, but uh, Black Wolf's not taking advantage of that moments. There's, one minute, one minute. There is there is a lot of potential and they do they really are tied together. It's a three flag uh, what is the score? Because I can see oh yeah, I can see the score. Hold on. There we go. Four flag yeah. touches and one flag score against two flag touches and one flag score. That's so they're correct. Qu quite even. One flag score can make a difference in the complete battle. Alesto is still there though. Pexin is now Can he bring it back? Doris doesn't know. Oh he does though. Not at 40 seconds. Make it, make it five flex uh, touches. Doris on time to defend it, but they couldn't get it back anyway. Don't return the flag. Don't return the flag. Don't return the flag. Don't return the flag. Block kills him. The flag gets returned. Oh no. I want to say block good. kills that's him. Good. Flag. Yeah, well, yeah. Snow Fox in the meantime. Again, a sneaky, but didn't get Blank. it. Blank. Okay, good. Holy fuck. 10 seconds. Oh! Action packed, action packed. Action packed, yes, correct. After a uh, really good first push of, um, of the Black Wolves, uh, the IBC got back in game, but it's still tight. Uh, everything can be made. Really, really tight indeed. So, uh, anyway, uh, IBC going away with that uh, win for the first half. 151, yeah. at least uh, having an. Uh, re they opened the score, basically. They opened the score. And um, they played really well, but the Edamek on that, like, as soon as there was a little bit of panic, it seems like uh, they lost the control. They had some nice pushes. That you thought like, oh, now they're going to make it, and they couldn't finish it, sadly. Yes, but I think the round is still open. I think uh, uh, one five one black wolves can can come back at, at any time. I'm showing us the lower bracket again, Nick. Oh yeah, I don't know why it does that. And of course now, uh, now this is the low record, guys. Uh, you see IBC against uh, one five one. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! There we go. Fix the camera, Nick. Fix the camera, Nick. I don't know what's happening with the camera. I really don't know. It's something with to do with. Uh... Let me check. Maybe if I re-enable you, maybe we can see Timo. Oh, it doesn't do it. Nicholas online? No, no cam. Also not online. Timo? Why are you not my showing? Cam is, my cam is online, so... Yeah, I don't know. It has to do something with the animations. I think I can fix it now. I need, I need some time in between the matches for it, so... Um, in the meantime, uh, I'm going to change the logos. Uh, what's your prediction? Uh, 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 I predict... I predict that... Um, fuck it. I will see the Black Wolves gonna come back and uh, and take the win and advancing to bronze medal. Yeah, they are doing uh, um, they are doing some uh, uh, switching around, and we saw that against Fantastic War as well. They lost their first round. Uh, yeah, not. I don't want to say quite hard, but they lost the first round before times end. And the second round, when they changed a lot around all the people, they um, they 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 hold it up to till the end with four flex scores against. So maybe we're going to see that now today as well. Um, I really hope yeah, we'll so, see. at least. 
and I really, uh, I really hope they can get to the bronze final. Of course, I also hope it for uh, uh, for Blackpool's, but they really have potential. I've I've been talking to them. They're a Milsim clan, Romanian, and um, I I've, I've been talking to Snowfox, our sneaky flag capturer, basically, and uh, they are really how you say that uh, they really really want to win, basically. So they're yep. really competitive. And of course, it's hard to acknowledge that you lost against Fantastic War or against TTT. But these are teams that have been playing already for multiple times. They trained. And uh, for the Black Wolves, they also trained, of course, but not as extensive as uh, Fantastic War did. So I'm really as happy. As far as we know. Yeah, as far as you know. At least not friendly matches that we know of. And yeah. to see them putting up a fight against IBC, that is also a really, really good clan. It's really nice to see. And again, IBC is also an, uh, played already multiple PvP events. It's a PvP or TVT clan against a full Milsim clan. And that's something that I like to see. There's like competitive. It it shows that you can win with tactics, basically. Yeah. Why is your name thing not working, Smittler? Tell me that. I don't know, but fix it, please. I'm trying. I'm trying, Smittler. I think we have some five minutes uh, to fill, I guess. It looks like they wanted to f uh, take a five minute break. Okay. I read Let's... the chat. Do, connect, uh, do we know? Uh... Okay, anyway, I need to say this as well. Uh, exclamation mark Discord. Join our Discord if you're new to here. Um, you will see it five minutes later. <laughs> and um, uh, yeah. Help us out to uh, fix the uh, next tournaments. I think the next tournament uh, will be the Pro Cup. So it will be uh, all the players that won from here uh, basically will progress to the Pro Cup where uh, uh, even better teams are playing. Um, so that will be an interesting, interesting thing. Um, for now... It is five minutes break. I really need to piss, by the way, and I I need to fix your cam. That's then bring us, then bring us to the uh, to the uh, breaking uh, coming back screen, and then we will see you in five minutes, people. Yes, five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. And and hype up in chat. Hype up in chat. Hype, 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 and join the Discord.
I'm ready. You said, you said I'm ready. Now it might be right back screen, this Smittler. Now I need to transition oh. us. <laughs> Doesn't matter. There we go. Smittler is back. Yes. Uh, for the record, I was organized. Smittler's side didn't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's uh, always the same. It's always the same. So uh, here we back. I I did I did some bedroom break. IBC is ready. Uh, one five one is ready. Let's There's com is there a complete new team of uh, one five one? Uh, uh, Schmidtler. Do you see? Let's go. Uh, I see. Masaru is back. Uh, Dennis is back. Plain is back. Valentin is new. Snowfox and Alessio are the same. Yeah, we see a little bit of uh, change. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, Dennis uh, is new. Makalaru did also did the new. Alesto is still here. Snowfox is still here. Playing these stuff were hmm. like yesterday. So again, an, a new team. But some people, it seems like like the people that have been, or at least I have the feeling, or everybody needs to play for them, or they going to like. I, I performed, so I stay in basically. But I think it has more to do that everybody can play, play basically, and that's mm -hmm. nice. Nice that you can also you're almost winning, and you can make everybody play. If you can pull yeah. this off, that you win this, then it's then it's amazing. Then it's of a course. great. That's great. Yeah. Then you did it as a team. That's that's one hundred percent sure. So I uh, see no rocket launcher. No rocket launcher. I see Enemac with a rocket launcher though. Enemac. Firing at a two-story building. I don't think it was aimed for there. It seems like. Or I think it was aimed on the bridge. I guess, more or less. Block is Snowfox. Snowfox getting sn <laughs> sniped from block. First blood. First blood. One flex score for one five one can change yeah. the whole battle basically. Matty and play Fixen. Play in there. McLaru and Block in fight. McLaru. Fexen and Matty on the other side, though. McLaru losing that fight. Completely open that flank now. Alesto is now alone. Valentine, that's some new name. That's correct, that's new. We didn't saw him yesterday, so that's new. That's new. Oh, I'm using the wrong overlay. Pop, 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 unorganized. Pop, 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 but I did something. There we go. But I need to do the... In the meantime, you don't like what you see because I need to do the flex scores, flex touches really quickly. Oh, no! <laughs> I uh, okay, what we see here. We see, uh, like, Black is already on the uh, uh, on the vicinity of the red black spot, uh, getting supported by Settler. Uh, but Alesto is the lonely flag defender again, so maybe they can overwhelm him. Adamek is on the run, too. We see, uh, we see Valentin on the run. Uh, for the other flag, uh, for the blue flag, uh, supported by Snowfox, Ooh, maybe we will see. Block is still there with Alesto. Did Alesto block die? Yeah, block died. Block is died. Yeah. Just for my confidence, if uh, Glorious Bastards, did they have five flag touches last round or four? Do you remember? Mm, five. Oh, five. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Valentine and Snowfox now all the way on the side. Matty killing uh, Fex play in there. Enemic still alive. <laughs> Didn't look around. <laughs> Skip who killing Snowfox there. But Valentine still alive. Coming back. Enemic and Matty. Matty died, I think. Yep, Matty died by Dennis. McLaru seeing faction probably. Nope, he sees Enemic. Gets called out 100%. But it's Dennis is waiting. Dennis is waiting. The back door of Adamek. Valentine. Of Valentine. Ooh. Goes behind cover. Surely. Some nades. He's holding them up. Block. Hey, Valentine doing a great job. Just moving from cover to cover to kill everybody. Maybe comes around this corner. Kills maybe Skipu. No, Matty. He doesn't see Matty. It's Tom Skipu. What a waste. Enemek still alive. Yeah, but but Enemek is shooting at Vexen. Uh, that was fun. Uh... It throw a nade in. Nice nade into the thing. Enemek still alive. Closing the door. Just causing havoc. Vexen alive. Alesto. Alesto died by Vexen. 
mm -hmm. opens the flag. Dennis knows there's uh, somebody, uh, something happening at a gap behind. Animac again. Most annoying player. Most annoying player. And Vexen's on the run. Dennis you missed him. And Vexen's on the run. Kills him though, but Settler is there. Good job, good job, Dennis. Okay. Nice Nate. Nice Nate. Nice Nate. At his feet. Doesn't kill him. Pixel saved him. He did try to switch to his hand pistol. Really well done. Fleck is still on the right. McLaru holding that angle. Settler can't go up now. A lot of fire going on. Huge fire fight in the Sand River. <laughs> McLaru and Snowfox uh, both died. Alesto but doesn't know that the flag was on the right and now runs off Settler. The Settler's on the flag. Risky move to running on the Sand River again. Yeah, block. And again, Edimek sitting here in the uh, corner basically, just holding that angle. And uh, just making sure that nobody could uh, come defend that flag. Killed like four in the process, I think. I have support from his mates and that's the flag score. Yep, yep. Well done by uh, IBC. Suddenly turning around. It's going to be really hard for 151 uh, to come back to this, basically. Now they need at least two flag... Scores to yes. uh, yes. get on lead. Next in there. Do we know anything about the uh, scores from 16 AA versus uh, Ness? Uh, I can have a look. Let's see, lower bracket. Paxson with Alesto in fight, Settler to uh, back him up. He died though. It looks like that that 16 AA won with one flag score and five, five flag touches against one flag touch in the first half against uh, NES. So 16 AA won the first round? Uh, the first half, yes. Yeah, okay, first round, yeah. So as it stands now, it will be 16th AA versus Inglorious Bestest, yes. It's going to be interesting. Yes. And make again on that far flank. 151 completely pushed back. Needs to clear every corner around your flag and IBC just running up. Dennis knows he's something in the house. Okay. He fires the corner. Sees Matty. No, doesn't see it. Blanca still there. Blanca. Kill Dennis. McLaru. Settler running up though. And Vexen is there too. Maybe. Ooh, <laughs> none of yes. those shots connected. Faxon is still there though. Goes for another shot, but uh, Alesto there to defend Alesto's it. Alesto's there. Trusty Alesto. Push up, push up, guys. Come on. What's playing doing? Is he stuck or something? No, he's holding. Push up. That's the thing you need to do. And I'm, I'm, I'm also watching chat. Fuck you, chat. <laughs> Because I fixed the right hand scorer board, what should say first friendly match is now Master Cup. So I did some work. And I have some dank animations later, what you probably already saw because I fucked up. So uh, you will see that. <laughs> McClary Ray laying down there on the bridge. Again, look, <laughs> getting him anyway. Did to just Holy tap heck. firing him. Long of, a lot of long range engagements. And that's why I love Sand River. It opens up a lot, yeah. So much action on the uh, on the brick. 
Big river in the middle. Oh! Do I hear the sniper? Or is it the... Uh... Dennis, do you have the sniper? Yes, he has the sniper and rocket launcher. <laughs> okay. He wants to shoot something. Shoots the building. Yep, yep, he has the... Will he see somebody? This is what I mean. It's a re it should be affection is seeing him. This is what this is exactly yeah. what I mean. It's like as soon as you get spotted, what you're now, you are nothing with that sniper. That's correct. Settler tried to go make a run for the uh, for the flag, but Alesto waiting there. Now finally we see some pushing by Snowfox and McLaru, but Snowfox got intercepted oh. by Matty. Did Dennis kill? Yes. Block. I missed that. <laughs> McLaren waiting for Matty, killing him, but Skipper should be... He's reloading, he doesn't know. Don't look left, he sees him. McLaren moving up. And the mech doesn't hear him. And the mech with the rocket launcher. He's behind the tree line for Dennis, so Dennis can't see him. McLaren moving up. And... No, Dan is still alive with the sniper. Yeah. Ooh, a little bit of panic. Block killing uh, Settler there because he thought there's enemy. And they know McClary is still alive. Now they know where he is. And now you need to run. Vexen in the meantime on the other side doing the same thing. Killing Snowfox. Alesto is still alive. McClary killing Block. Skipper on the hunt for him. Vexen still in the building. Ooh, McLaren getting killed by Matty. And the Mac and Valentine, uh, or Valentine it is. Faction. And Dennis is still on the on, on the hunt. Yup, yup, but here's Valentine crossing the, the sand river, but will oh. probably get spotted. Nope, he, he survives. He's running, but Block is there. I am an eye. He's so single. He was on single fire, I think, but he survived. No. Block is still there, but he runs. He survives. <laughs> Can he get another touch in? Nade in, though. What was happening in the other tide? Texan still causing troubles. Valentin now as well. Only one guy's trying to flake some out. Dennis is still on the hunt. I, uh, I will watch him. And Valentin is on the flag now. I think he's going to cap it. I think he is because I'm in third person. What? <laughs> Traded with Settler though. Really well play a push by Valentin there. If he had some uh, more uh, uh, defense mates with him, he could have uh, got further. Faxon is still alive. Matty is still alive. Snowfox now also on the hunt. And uh, IBC skipped to uh, a zero defender lineup, I think, at this okay. moment. Or maybe a forward defender. Alesto shoots. Yep, Alesto should see him. Nice building there. He, I think if uh, Faction shoots that wall, that fall will go down. He can try to shoot through that wall, basically. Snowfox in the meantime killing Block. Settler going to try to hunt him down. Faction still alive. Faction on a run in that house. They can't flush him out there. And then it's finally dead. On the oh, Snowfox. Ooh, finally, that nade on his feet. I could see it through the window. <laughs> finally, Faction is dead. How many kills did he get? I, he's not even top scorer. I'm surprised by that, to be honest. Nine kills. And a mech in the middle. Valentin. See Settler in a fight with him. Doesn't win it. And a mech now. Getting killed. The There's window. a nade on the flag, I think. I think Alester will die. Oh, no, not. Matty almost uh, getting killed there. Settler just running through the middle. And this is, again, IBC just 
running through that 50 line and snow uh, for snow yeah. and uh, 151 holding back a little bit more aggression they don't know what is clear they don't know what is not clear and what is safe to go Alesto doing a great job defending though he should have been sitting yeah. there for the first one 15 minutes to go snowfox and set faction snowfox winning that engagement Blood died skipper died this would open up I see a lot of uh, kills uh, from 151 and I should recognize that they killed I think half their team although not whole their team because the whole field is open they should yeah. push so it's time to getting a little bit of space breathing space yeah on the front of course you need to push but you need to sit tight on certain locations like snowfox running now and of course you can you can try to run there but you know you will get a guy sooner or later dennis Holding off though, Valentin should know, block getting killed, or killing McLaru. Oh, that Dennis. That rocket. But without support. Yeah, but killed by block. Focus dead. Dennis, yeah. Dennis, go for it. Dennis, run, 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 run. Well go, done go. by Dennis and Valentine. But Tries no, to clear it out. Communicate for the right route. Don't go outside the door. Okay, nice. No, the nades! The nades! <laughs> the nades. But Matty! <laughs> what? What? Oh. Unbelievable! Matty with the nade! Oh, oh, oh! Every oh. nade, every nade we've seen is a pixel nade, and this nade kills him. He exploded here and he kills him there. Like, unbelievable. But that nade. Oh, oh, oh. But a really nice push one by 151. Playing still alive. Edemek. And Settler. Play not getting the kill there. Faction on a nasty camping position. Can camp this whole bridge line so they can't cross. Yeah. And now it's Alesto versus Settler. And I think Settler knows where Alesto is. Okay, I thought he know, knew where he was, but he doesn't. But Adamek do the flank. And McLaru. Let's check McLaru on the other side of the map. And a okay. mech. Risky run. Good grenade. A lot of running. They know Alesto is alive. They know Alesto is alive. And McLaren going for touch. And running away with it. Block is there to intercept him though. Throws in another nade. Last time the nade was really nice. Can he get past? No, Block knows he's not run no, to no. the left. Not today, B.I. Aceleru! Run circle! Oh no! Oh god! Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. Matty is also. They instantly know where he is. Block McLaren go to the right. No! Oh no! Another touch. So. Corner. Bring corners. Run on corners. Use corners indeed. Again, a second. Really, the the one man push does work here. In the meantime, Faxon getting in a fight with Dennis. So, they they having no defender on. Uh, IBC side really uh, yeah. doesn't work for them. If they can get two more in 10 minutes, and they did now two in five minutes, they can turn this battle around. And that would be really sour for IBC if this if they lose this on the last minute. Then it's in the fight. Then is winning that fight. Oh no, doesn't win that fight. Skipping won that fight, sorry. Texan. Settler. Crossing the bridge. Alesto still alive. Edemek still alive. Edemek throwing a nade into the area. Probably will kill Alesto. No, this is what I mean! What is this armor? <laughs> and the mech killing settler the nade explodes next to him and it doesn't kill him <laughs> so Edemek probably thinks it's safe free fires the corner and then Alesto gets killed Edemek will be really mad if he rewatch re this clip that clip that for Edemek please if you see this in five minutes clip that that nade not killing Alesto <laughs> uh, IBC running up Dennis again with the uh, sniper tries to kill off Matty, doesn't hit the shot. Edemek 
or uh, McClary went block. McClary winning that. Oh no, not block winning that. <laughs> That's a uh, rocket launch on uh, Dennis. Did it kill him though? But oh. uh, it was really nice. Dennis getting killed by Block. Snowfox on the other side gets seen by Edamek though. Oh. Can they turn this around? 10 minutes to go, roughly. Can they turn this around, Smidler? I hope. Faxon there. Don't let Faxon into that house, basically. Alesto now there. Skippu. Skippu. Alesto MVP there, but he gets killed. Faxon should know it's open. Settler knows it's open. They're all running for it. Settler doesn't get shot at. McLaren getting killed. They have control here. This settler knows. Settler yeah, knows they're open. Settler knows. Alesto's dead, and then yeah, Faxon in that house is not really uh, really a thing that you want to be in. But playing is on the other side again. Another player from one five one on the other side. Can they hold them off? Can they turn it around? N nice trade by playing, but that against Skippu. But the flag is off, and Settler will score the point. If Snowfox doesn't I think see, is... yeah, I think don't think Snowfox can see him running over the road there, even if he holds that block there. Faxon again. Block holding them off quite hard there. Again, Faxon and Animac. Three around their flag. No flag defending because Alesto oh! died. Valentin! Did he kill him? He killed Skippu. And now... Ooh, Settler needs to go to the house. Yep, yep, yep. Holy fuck. Goes around. They all go around a long way. But they get this yeah. touch. Again, there's Animac. Are we going to see a little bit of the paint train? I think he's trying. Yup, he's trying. Yep. Jackson is still in the house. Causing havoc. Yup, yup. Jackson in that house is just... Uh, either destroy the house or clear him what? out with all of okay. you. Okay, what's that communication? Everybody from... Or Blackwood should know that Faxon's in the fucking house. Oh, Snowfox will return the flag if he doesn't see Settler. He gets him. <laughs> well done. Good job. Instantly Snowfox. going further. Oh, Skippu coming around, spraying around that corner. Did see probably a pixel of him. But he uh, did return the flag, so that uh, makes sure that Faxon. they didn't get in a flag score. Faxon is finally dead. Faxon is finally dead. Up, roughly six minutes to go, seven minutes, eight seven minutes. Minute. 40. It can, still can happen. It can be so fast. Yeah. But it can also happen the other way because Block is uh, there, Skippu is there. So um, IBC having zero defenders just pushing uh, 151 really hard and it works out for them because they. Oh, the house goes down. They can maintain the 50 line. They maintain the fact that the uh, enemy is uh, holding back. Skippu knows that Playin is there. Playin's seeing Skippu. Makalaru in a fight with Settler but gets thrust fight by Faxon. Playin now approaching. Uh, And the McKelling Dan is there. There's Faxon again on his way home to his house. Snowfox trading with Edamek. Oh. Oh no, yeah, he did. And Faxon still on his way. On his way home. There to uh, support Alest or for support is made. Knows where he is. 
Prefies the corner. <laughs> Couldn't get that in cam. Get, grabs the uh, flag and runs off again. Meanwhile, block holding the whole north southern flank of the uh, Sand Ripper. Faction running away. Should have an open win. I don't think. Uh, I would say uh, go with zero defenders and just full push with all of you. You have nothing to lose at this moment. Five minutes to go. Settler killing two there. Knows the flag is open again. Again, a block yeah. on that southern flank. Every time I look south, I see block standing there. And uh, there goes faction for his flag score. But we'll make three flag scores and four flag touches. Black Wolves definitely having trouble now with the new team. Yeah. That's correct. I think they could have... I think if they didn't train... There's definitely potential if they didn't train. If they trained, there needs to be more training. It's all about training, Smittler. You know it. That's correct. And there comes Matty with another... It's a sort of a half pain train. Because there's nobody defending the flag. They listen to the stream. Matty running back. Block still alive there. Dennis there. But it looks it looks like that uh, four minutes left. That IBC will advance and the brawls for the final. Yep. Settler at least what it looks like for now. Yep, yep, yep. Everything can happen. Four minutes to go. Enemek and Alesto. Enemek well done of uh, Alesto well done. Returns the flag, shoots his Instantly push, McLaren and play him pushing. Snowfox there to back him up. Should get some ground now, and it, indeed it is. Alesto, they they think okay. it's not going no to defender, work. No, no, no defender, defender. No. Heart against heart. That's what we like to see. And that's what I mean. A lot of pushing. Can block uh, hold the uh, thing up. Coming around, aim down side by playing around the corner. Ooh, the, no. Ooh, the rocket kill! The, oh, oh the, the double but, bridge. Yeah, but Bacalaru. Bacalaru say every everything is going down now. And he should acknowledge that the left side is completely open. Playing almost shooting uh, Bacalaru there. Communication. There's, Communication there's, is key. But Skipu. Skipu's seen him there coming there. Faction now playing, trying to go for the flex. Faction did see him. And he gets crossfired. And Dennis also going back. They all want oh. to go back. And IBC just running around the, the area. Just trying to yeah. hold them off. Valentin's still alive though. Alesto's still alive. Three minutes to go. Skipu, Edemek and uh, Mati pushing up. Valentin again taking it slowly. Taking it really slowly. But uh, you don't have time to take it slowly. Nice fire trade there by McLaru and uh, Alesto. Didn't think it was intended, but uh, Enemy kept firing. Valentine in the garage. Faction, killing two. And in the meantime, this is what I mean. Valentine, but Block did see him. Settler should see him. Alesto, well defended. Fex is still alive. Valentine there, fighting with Block. Tries to get into the building. Doesn't work. Oh, Block tried to go to his, th to his hand pistol. He needs to heal. Valentine is healing. Matty coming around with Settler, killing him. A little bit of panic. Turned right. And the faction in the meantime has the other flag. Runs off. Yep. Gets killed though by Skipu. Doesn't want him to score the points. No. Ooh, nice angle by Dennis there. And play in as well. McLaru. Did they return McLaru? the flag? Oh, they, they returned the flag. Yeah. I thought they didn't. 
suddenly a lot of happening uh, across the field, yeah. but uh, as it stands... Uh, one minute left, one minute, 50 seconds. IBC Everybody's continue. running. Everybody's running now. Head first into the enemy. With full force. Seconds, next. Seconds, yeah, I'm speechless. And I, I think we can congratulate uh, IBC for advancing to the bronze medal final. Yes. Uh, and I don't have the information yet who they'll play against. I don't have the uh, scores for the second game uh, of Fixed AA against NES. But we will see that later. Yup, yup. 151 really uh, putting up a fight. Really well played by them. They uh, stood chance and uh, they tried, couldn't uh, get IBC past, but that's part of the thing. If they come back next year, they train a little bit more, I 100% that they can do some really nice tactics or these nice things because they are doing, yeah. they're destroying buildings, they, they are... they are doing great things to do it, as well as IBC, but IBC is a little bit more pvp heavy and that's what you see they win engagements yeah. and probably right. we're going to see that in the uh in the um score as well but will pop up soon fix this i want to see who's number one one the two and one the three and i see three blue four guys and blue four is inglorious bastard so my statement still stands there we go 120 and, and 86 yeah faction in that house kill that of 2.8 yeah. Oh, holy shit. Well played. Yeah, well played by IBC. But yep, yep. Uh, we saw good work by uh, 1512. So there's. Uh, that was not an easy win for IBC, I would It wasn't. They needed to fight for it, basically. Yeah. So, um. I, uh. I made sure that uh, we had some uh, some things, so I'm going to ask Edemek if he can walk us through what happened and um, if he has anything to uh, say to us. Uh, yeah. Where is he? Let me check. Interview, please. Interview. You can stay on the server, Nick. Oh, I can stay on the server. <laughs> Bronze medal final will play on the server. Hey, okay. Wake up. Here he comes. Hello, Edemek. Hello. Congratulations with uh, progressing to uh, the bronze final. I think yeah. we, I think we redeemed ourselves. Uh, you not gonna lie, redeemed? Still, yeah, <laughs> with that loss uh, with uh, TPT. Yeah, yeah. We got a little bit mad about it uh, later on. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Uh, anyway, I got so mad because of that nade. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, that night uh, I I asked people to clip it. I don't know if it's uh, going to happen. It's clipped. It's, uh, it's... <laughs> okay. So um, uh, I I did something in preparation because Edemek is one of the guys from IBC, and here he comes. Here he comes. The stats of Edemek: zero flex scores, zero flex touches. How can I sell this? I didn't look at him. He had a negative kill dead, but I think you redeemed yourself quite heavily because you only played against TTT last time, didn't you? Yeah, not gonna lie, uh, we were pretty lucky with first uh, Recon because uh, we completely forgot that we should be playing next match after mm -hmm. the first one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so everyone except me left. Yeah, oh, oh. Did, oh. You, uh, did you train a little bit more after the last match that you had? Uh, not really. Uh, what I did, we started to use uh, callouts, like uh, you know, some uh, few units had tipped us to do, mm -hmm. and that helped. Okay. Yeah, we uh. we saw a lot of communications at least going on. At least. Yeah. It lo it looked like it. They captured the flag. You were playing without a flag defender at the end. We saw zero flag defenders. Was that intentional? Did you have the feeling that you had the over end? Um, I would say that was 50-50 intentional. Uh, our defender just th didn't tell us he's going to rush. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> it worked I out think, at least. 
I think he got uh, tape killed once because of that. Yeah. That seemed right. <laughs> uh, Smitler, do we already know who she's playing to in the bronze final? In the meantime, I need to do uh, my cap. Let's see. Yes, we see uh, playing against uh, 16th AA. 16th AA. Did you already play it against them? I don't think so, right? Um, nope. Okay, so are you thinking that you're going to win the uh, uh, bronze, bronze final? Uh, I hope for the best. You have 10 minutes to prepare. Um, maybe after the, uh, after the game we can talk through um, and we can show your stats again, but the stats will not be updated. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, thanks, Adamek. Good luck to you and to your team. And yeah. uh, thank you. I hope you uh, can uh, make it uh, redeem yourself. I will me too. <laughs> can you switch back yourself or do I need to switch you back? Uh, I can do it myself. Thank you. But thank you anyway. <laughs> Have fun. Good luck. Thanks. Luck will be needed. <laughs> okay. So, that was Adamek. I, I, ho I honestly thought that Adamek had a higher, higher kill bet, basically. Uh... So uh, I pulled up his score and I was surprised. But he had a positive kill bet uh, in here. And he was playing against TTT the first round. And TTT is yeah. one of the most harding competition so it will be 16 aa versus uh ibc 16 aa have been training they know what to do i'm really curious the match will start in 10 minutes we will sh do an uh an, a quick shout out on the announcement when we start for now i'm going back to the b right back screen to fix some yeah. things and get and organized and uh see you soon bye in five minutes
that we are again. I've you muted everything. We're back. Hello. Um, the only thing oh. I forgot to change, I see, is the bracket text because we're not in the bronze final semifinals anymore. We're in the bronze final against Inglorious Bastards against uh, 16, uh, 16 AA. AA. 16 AA. Um, I'm here not alone with Schmidtler because the German cast crashed. We asked one of the Germans to come to us. He's not going to talk German because otherwise <laughs> we won't do anything. I'm here with Timo. Hello, Timo. Hi. Guys. Yeah, there Hi. he is. <laughs> <laughs> I can switch big, really big. Uh, so uh, can you tell me anything about um, uh, about the first uh, game you saw? I think you were at 16 AA, weren't you? Yes, yes, I was at 16 AA. Um, it was a rather, well, slow game, let's say it this way. Um, nothing really happening except one flex go for 16 AA and a couple of... Uh, um, captures but uh yeah like touches only but mm -hmm. uh, one score for 16 a the rest of uh, the touches so not really that interesting um not really that much uh, happening at the game okay so a little bit of tight so yes at least we did see a lot of uh happening Action, uh, oh, yeah. yeah go for it yeah but we saw uh on my on my favorite map sand river we saw uh, some long range firefights some big firefights in the middle we saw some good pushes from the uh, 151 Black Wolves. But in the end, uh, the IBC guys came back on top um, with, I would say, overall better communication and better shooting skills. Uh, does make sense. And then, uh, yeah, now they advanced in the bronze medal finals against yep. uh, the 16 AA. And I think the match will start in 30 seconds. Yep. Holy heck. So, um, yeah, it's a really tight schedule because we need to do three matches in the meantime. So, uh, here we go. We transition into the game. My scoreboard working perfectly again. I need to say that. And here we are, IBC. IBC having, I think, the almost the same setup as they did in the last round. I only see Kviat is new. Who did leave then? I see Edemek, Faction, Skipu, Settler, Block, and now Kviat. Who's the one that I'm missing, Schmidt? Uh... Who's the one who we are missing? Wait, I can find that out really fast. You can, you can, you can call out the name for, names for for sixteen AA. Yeah, Timo, go through it. Did you see this? Is it the same team that played Furley or not? Um, no, I'm not. I'm not on the server yet. <laughs> oh, you're not in the server yet. Oh, yes, <laughs> really well done. Okay, so we see Ben, uh, team captain Duke, Keeling, McPherson, Planningen, and Hawk. And Hawk having the rocket launcher going Party. upstairs is we... waiting for something. Matty from IBC. Ah, Matty, yeah, Matty. Yep, 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 you're right. So, um, you said they were playing really slowly, but I see complete control over the middle from uh, IBC and as well for they trying to uh, for 16 uh, day A. And uh, I need to say 16. Oh, McPherson looking the wrong way, killing. Block killing two there. Um, 16 AA really wanted to get to the third place. They uh, last cup they were knocked out quite quickly, and um, they are now in the bronze final. So they they did get further than they uh, got last time, having almost three flag defenders, and that's something that you don't want to do against IBC because IBC acknowledge that push that they're going to make. Five people around their flag already, and IBC going for the old no flag defender. Uh. Yeah, we talked to uh, uh, to uh, Edemek, and it was a little bit of uh, miscommunications that they didn't have the flag defender. Kviat by Ben there. Block is still alive. So, so let's say the, the names for the 16, 16 AA guys. So we, because we we uh, we see him the first time on this stream, I guess. Uh, we have Hawk, Ben, Duke, McPherson, Flanagan, and Keeling. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the. 16th AA bronze final against IBC. Okay. So a lot of passive play indeed. Ben trying to do long range shots. And it seems like that uh, 16th AA is just trying to get a few of it. Uh, what What is the enemy doing? It can work out. If they can get a flag touch in and they can defend their flag with three people, they can win. But will it work? I would say... Offensive is the best defense. In the meantime, Faction coming in that uh, building where Flanagan was. 
Duke is laying down there. I don't think Faction sees him. Can I Mark not click on it? Yep, yep. I couldn't click on him. Enemy in my building. Faction on a roll. McPherson getting killed or ki kills Faction there. Block getting killed by Ben. A lovely, lovely uh, ragdoll. Thank you. McPherson trying to pre fire around the corner. Settler moving in though. Now 16 AA using a similar tactic as they did in the previous round against Navy USP. They have uh, two or maybe sometimes even three flag defenders sitting at their flag. And uh, that was similar to the last round. They well, had uh, two non stop there. Like I said, it can work out. If, for example, McPherson, if I say that correct, gets through the enemy lines, get in a flag touch, and then just helps yes. defend, you win the bronze final, basically. Of course, I would say offensive is the beef best defense. Get in the middle. I think Block ran out of the uh, zone there. Yep, he did. Didn't see the thing. Healing Gellin Edemek there. So But but you're right, Nick. The 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 style of IBC playing without one flag defender or maybe a little bit more behind flag defender like Skipu. Yeah. Uh, a push from a single person that could be really effectful against IBC, I guess. And it can be really frustrating because you know that you've been pushing, you have map control, and then this like lone wolf gets in a flag touch and it will lo lose you the match. You know who's also doing that, but they are a little bit more pushing? Is 88. 88 does the same fucking thing. TTT as well, SOF as well. Like having one guy in the back suddenly capturing that flag, just getting that flag touch in, and it will win you the, the round. It will win you the round. And they. Yeah. Like I say, look at Keeling and Ferson, they're quite pushed up and they have four people defending, only two people in the front. Oh. In the meantime, Ferson, Keeling doesn't look the right way, gets killed though. Nade out by Ferson. Ferson out again, against Kviat. Gets oh, him. Oh, this is what I mean, only block between the flag and, uh, and Ferson. With Black. the grenade. I'm, uh, I'm surprised that uh, Kvia died by that nade. Because we've seen some nades there, nobody died. Settler killing Hawk. Settler eventually moving in. Should approach Duke now. Duke sees him and kills him. Yep. And then we had Ben as well. McPherson killing Block here. Putting a lot of pressure on IBC now, suddenly. McPherson is angry. Vexen getting killed by Flanagan. I think he gets traded. He gets traded indeed. And this is what I mean. McPherson, of course, I would say push now, but they don't see the bird's eye view, basically. But it's two against one. They know he's somewhere around, and they, yeah, it takes long, but he can he can pull it off. And now suddenly, he, and suddenly, IBC is in the offensive. Yep. So, doing this passive low play, almost getting killed there, is working out for them. Faxon. McPherson, what the fuck is he doing? Everybody's sailing around. Boom, Skip that Settler is even coming back for him. Yeah, but Keeling is there now as well. Ooh, Skipu. But Keeling now, killing one. Flanagan on that... Like, really long angle into that garage building, it seems like. Oh, is it? oh it's Ben. It's Ben on that... Uh, on that building. Completely controlling that whole street over there, seeing everything what will cross and how Hawk and Keeling are both there, but Animac. Animac, and we've seen him in the last round being really annoying. But IBC on the full defense now. 0-0. Zero, zero. Keeling. Keeling. Getting shot by Settler. Will he let them pass? Hawk is thinking. I'm... Nope. He's just trying to get a good shot on. And it opens the complete flank because McPherson now also going there. Hawk moving further into the bus station, waiting for the bus. Yeah, the Adamek is still around the flag in the building next to Ben. Yeah, but as long as Adamek doesn't have backups, he won't do anything, basically. Nah, he can't do anything. with two defenders. Three even. Oh yeah, three. 
<laughs> didn't see <laughs> didn't see Flanagan there. Hawk in waiting the for this uh, for this uh, pain bus that is coming up. Flanagan getting in the meantime, killing somebody. It was yeah. Enigmac. Well done by Flanagan. Killing and bad settler going around. Do you have a Luck. feel? It is Mate. in. It is like an uh, how how you say that. I'm not playing. I don't find them playing slow, but they're playing. They're waiting for the right moment to play, basically, because Hawk yeah. has been waiting there as well, and I think that can be a tactic. Definitely. Oh, Hawk and f killing. Arch me. Yeah, Faxon using that. Luck is moving now further up into the building where Adamek was killed one minute ago. McPherson hears uh, Faxon. Looks into the direction, gets stuck. Dude, wait. Is waiting. Faxon comes around. Who's going to win this fight? Faxon. Settler, in the meanwhile, uh, around the uh, flag, gets killed. Block now still alive. Uh, Duke's still in the same position. Now he's opening the door. Duke heard that. And survives? Yep, Block. for survives. Hawk is still alive, though, there on the far flank. But still three defenders. Faction is coming in. Block knows exactly where Duke is. So Duke should uh, should try to go somewhere else. Block going in. Duke trying to pre-fire him out of the building. Skip move. Now it's only Gets Ben. Him. Oh, McPherson as well. Full defense now. Hawk is still there though. Go Look at Hawk going around. Is Bluck finally dead? No, Bluck is not dead. There's a Luck lot of is people. Still there. Adamek now coming from the opposite side of the street. Action gets. Luck is not dead. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing two things because Hawk is still here. Ooh, Hawk almost getting a touch in. And oh. reset. Only settler around the flag. Settler around the flag. And it's two. getting first and then... Nice nade in, nice nade in. If he doesn't run away, he will get killed by it. What? Uh, he ran away, Settler. Now closing the door. Spraying through the door. Faction and Block knows that they're pushed up quite far. Settler killing nobody. Nice rockets. I like to see the rockets from 16 AA. They're using them way yep. more often than I, I think they would. Everybody wants to get, kill Settler. Serial survives. I can't get him into oh. and finally gets killed. I can't get it. Dear map makers of ESM, less buildings, please. Because All I can't buildings, get. Please. Or I need to enable my wall hacks. Hawk still alive. Ooh, that's. <laughs> Ooh, Flanagan. That's crossfire. Yeah, Fersen is still alive, though. Bit Faxon. Yep, fa getting him. Should push up. Maybe a little bit of a reset. Ben oh, killed Stick with that. Finally, smoke grenades! Yes, yeah, smoke grenades! <laughs> <laughs> but by who is the question? I think by IBC, I guess. I don't know. It's in the building of Ben. Yep, it is a nasty position though, because you can't see anything running oh. up. Or smoke grenades. Maybe by Adamek. I think, I I think it's Adamek, yeah. Yep, yeah, it IBC. is. Look at that. And but McPherson is waiting. McPherson is waiting. Read my frame rate. Boom! He waited for him and then execute. executed. Let's settle up, maybe get some now. 18 minutes left. Oh, Hawk is on the side. Nice, well done in the crossfire. But still, oh, no, no. not even a touch in. Yeah, yeah. And look at the kills that the uh, 16AA is now leading. Not by much, not by much, but... Five kills, yeah. <laughs> McPherson holding that. And there goes Keeling. They found a little bit of a weak spot. But now you need to fight three people at their flag. And that's something you don't go to win. I think IBC didn't uh, expect to be fighting three flag defenders on this map. Uh... 
They're trying to clear out one by one. Block killing uh, Ben there. Ben is down. And Ben is uh, block gets killed by Duke. Well done. Now yeah, Keeling that, and McPherson. That that three man defensive uh, uh, defensive team blocked everything up yep. from Ke IBC. Keeling is uh, making his presence known, and IBC is going to try to flush them out. If he plays this correctly, they can push up a little bit with three people. It's going to be hard, three versus six. But maybe we're going to see some sick pixel mates. Atomic, where did this with the mate there? Black died. Oh. Atomic revenge is in. Keeling getting settler, Hawk running up. Faction there though. Took too long. It took too long. Easy as that. They were there with the two. And then suddenly six from IBC, but they have some breeding space. So still 16 AA in like, I think in the uh, advantage here. Should hear him, does him, get trade shot at him. McPherson and Keeling. Ah, uh, what I say, the three flag defenders can, it's a weird tactic, but it works out for them. It doesn't really look like that IBC can adjust his, uh, uh, their playstyle to counter that, it seems. A at okay. least not yet. Not yet. Maybe it's, you will see that. You yeah. need a really lucky, lucky break, basically, into the flag area. Because now you're in the flag area, you don't... They need to set up a spawn camp. That's basically what they need to do. Spawn camp, and then have the defenders one by one. And then you can create some breeding space. Settler in between back first and the killing. Ooh, killing, killing Settler there. Well done. Block instantly hearing that. And Skipu and Block killing both of them. Vexen now in the building close to the flag. Next to Flanagan. Yep, yep. Vexen uh, did kill out uh, Ben, I think, here. I'm drinking in the meantime. But Water. fighting three flag defender can be very, very hard. Jackson moving in. But I think you hurt him. I oh. don't know. Do they know they're fighting three flag defenders? That's my real question. I don't know. Okay, Rocket launcher every building and bring them down. Yep. That, that, Open I, up the spot. I think they don't know. I think they're just thinking that as soon as they get close to the flag that they uh that they're holding the flag basically for their assault what it what it can look like but the only thing i would like to see is some a lot of firing flanning and getting one settler is still in the fight with mclaren settler didn't die or did he he did he did yeah skip as well Luck still alive. Still two flag defenders though. Yeah, that's a good position base in right now. Kind of spawn camp position. And we see Hawk again on the far, far flank. Ke getting killing. Still two flag defenders. Oh, in a fight with uh, Flanagan. And Black got Oh, he got one he got one shot at. I thought yeah. that. I think it, it's just a shot, but he got one shot at. A little bit of panic there. Vexen. Ooh, Vexen. And the damage is coming from the episode. Vexen just making sure that he's not on the angle that Flanagan is shooting at. Vexen kills him. Only one flag defender left. Settler coming up. And I think that Vexen thinks now the flag is open. But it isn't. And that's what I mean. <laughs> oh. Healing still around. Ben. Adamek still around. Hawk is on the other side as well. Everything it... is around. Buddy. Takes long again. Edemek holding. Keeling holding. Settler holding. Edemek holding. Oh, McPherson holding. Edemek and McPherson. McPherson knows where Edemek is now. Nade in. Throws away. Settler coming in. That Nate. That Nate opened up a lot. Ben is open. And there goes Settler. McPherson. 
And this is what I mean. Lucky they Nate. Got killed. Settler now got oh! it. Oh, heck. That's what I mean. They got a lucky nade in. They killed one. They killed another minutes. one. 16 minutes. 16 minutes to take the first push. And that was a good cap. From I was here. <laughs> Duke and Keeling. Duke looking one way. Keeling looking the other way. <laughs> Killing Enemek, luckily. Block is still there, though. Keeling is trying to run up. Playing again is suddenly out of the uh, out of the defense. I think Settler will bring it back home though. Yeah, he will. Block getting killed by Flanagan. Keeling getting a uh, kill on Skipu. Flanagan back to defense. Hook on the far flank. Will he see for Settler? Another. No, he didn't kill him, but we did see some na or see some smoke grenades now coming out. You got killed by the uh, rocket launcher, I think. Could be. Oh, killing faction. Settler and Keeling in the fight now. And Keeling winning that fight. Acknowledge that the, uh, the flag is open, or the, 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 the flank is open. And McPherson acknowledged, and suddenly a, a massive attack from... Uh, from uh, 16 AA And a Mac and Block don't care Two defenders now, Skipu and Kviat So the, the, a little bit of uh, How you say that? Uh, adaptive defending, Hawk will get seen by Block Yep McPherson getting killed by Skipu Yeah, but Keating's still alive in the building waiting yeah, for the smoke to run out. Depot and Kiwi are defending, yeah. Luck is close, moving in. No, to the building. Ah, but he got... But Duke is still in the same position. Underneath is the rubble. <laughs> Keeling. Holding that angle, waiting for somebody to come close, probably. But IBC is on the enemy flag again. They're behind one flag touch and one flag score. Faxon killing Flanagan. Only Duke and Ben left. They are always on the same position. Hawk getting killed. Oh no, Hawk killing uh, Faxon. McPherson killing Edemek. Only Settler alive. <laughs> Duke not wait. And Settler getting executed there. Suddenly three from 16 AA on the uh, 50 line here. Can oh, they keep their call? Friendly needed. You by Ben. Yeah, I think a little bit of panic as well. Healing getting fucked up by Flock there. McPherson waiting. Oh, okay. She runs right past him. <laughs> Does he let him go? No. No, <laughs> <laughs> no mercy. <laughs> Settler coming in now. Person looking the wrong way. Yeah, some good timing for that in the building. Yep. McPherson taking it easy. But uh, IBC now still with two defenders so it's going to be more hard for 1698 to come through and i think it's a good tactic against them because why would you keep but on hawk, pushing and dying you know but hawk is sneaking up and sneaking down and the mckillen keelan faction and enemax still on the same flank hawken and mcpherson hawk a little That's bit of pressure luck. on them, yep, yep. Skipu now on the hunt, I think, or is he just moving in the building? Oh, he's moving on the balcony. Settler there. I heard a nade. Crossing. They just thought it could get cleared. Of course it doesn't get cleared. Nah. It was not. It will be pixel nades. Ooh, Huck killing block again. And they're suddenly on their flag. 
truck moving in. Like first keeping it like... slowly, keeping it slowly. I have an eye on the other. other Settler thing. exactly what? knowing where he walked through. Walked. In the meantime, Adamek trying to push. Faction died. Adamek died as well. Everybody died. Everybody died. So McPherson died as well, killing in uh, a little bit better position. Seven minutes to go, six and a half. Two flag defenders. Well, um, 16 AA still with three defenders and they are in the back. They're not leading this game, so maybe they should change their tactics, like, if not now, maybe in the next round. Like, Ben was a little bit of a libero, as I like to call it. He's doing like different angles, but I would like to see him more to the middle, basically. I've never seen people play on this balcony, on this house that's in the middle. But it should be possible. And the killing killing. Hawk only the one alive there. Settler still alive. Block still alive. Oh, nah, Settler died. Dead. Only block then. I should switch around indeed and try to get uh, one more flag defender as a more either a mid player or uh, as an attacker. And I think uh, he's trying Not to do that. Now. Ben well defended. Flanagan looks to uh, listen to us. I am the player whisperer with five minutes delay. And um, is moving up a little bit more. Yeah, indeed, you're right. <laughs> but McPherson is holding now, it seems like. Maybe they don't know that they have control over the flag. Five minutes to go. Ooh, again that building. Skip who survived that. Arma pixels. One more rocket and I think it's down then. Yeah, I think so too. McPherson and Settler will meet each other. Settler did see McPherson. McPherson didn't see Settler. Throws in a nade. Stay there. I don't know what the nade is doing. Exactly in right in front of his feet. <laughs> Healing is still alive though. Doing some things. Settler pushing. Now Flanagan is pushing, look at that. So they're trying to get a little bit more mid control. I would hold at that gas station, basically. Faction will go around. No, kills him. They kill Settler in the meantime. It's a little bit more pushing up, it seems like now, by 16 AA. Yeah, and that's good because they are in the back. They need to do something. If they um, yeah, have ambitions to win. Ooh, block killing Kwiat on that nasty position. They're a little bit more panic. McPherson now coming up. Skipu dead, dead by Hawk there. Flanagan now also moving up. Skipu should see Edemek. Or uh, Edemek should see Hawk. Jesus. Settler still alive. Keeling still alive. Doesn't get Edemek. Kills him. Settler knows where Flanagan he is. Flanagan now moving in. Yeah, but he's against block and against Faxon. So let Settler and Keeling fighting McPherson for the backup. Block now thinks the flag is clear. Kills one, kills can, two Flanagan. Can, can he do it? No, he oh, can't. So close. The last one takes him. Faxon. Faxon, normally offensive player, now in full defense because they can't do anything. They have no defenders at the moment. The only one alive is McPherson. Faxon doesn't know that he's waiting for his defender. Well, that was a good push from 16 AA. That definitely helped out. Uh, they're playing angles correctly, I think. Hook. Oh, kid trading with block there. Faxon knows uh, McPherson is there. No nade kill. Kills Faxon. Kills almost Settler. Didn't get his shots connected to him. Flanagan moving up there. 16 AA acknowledged that they need to be a little bit more pushing. And uh, it works out for them. Because they have the over end. Even if they're behind now. Absolutely. Yeah. 
They're doing a good job. 16A. With nearly constant pressure on the flag of IBC. Yeah, and IBC is in full defense. Skippo killing Keelan there. Brannigan and uh, Block will move uh, to each other there. Move. And the yeah. silence returns. Block you settler. You can hear the... We're both we pushing. Settler can nearly push almost through through the uh, building where Duke is. I know Duke is sitting in the rubble. Oh, Hulk. Flanagan getting one though. Oh. Duke is sitting in the rubble. Ben. 16A, now only one defender. Duke is there. Nice, oh. Nasty position there. I didn't even know the position. Gets crossfired by Ben and Duke. Look at Duke. Black now moving in. I like that. Uh, I like that position. McPherson getting killed by Edemac. Flanagan still alive though. Black moving in instantly. Gets killed, I think, by Hawk. Keelan Flanagan is still alive. Ooh, gets killed. Edemac killing. Thirty seconds, roughly. I don't have the correct time. No, one, one minute, one. Uh, one minute ten. Can I get another flag touch in? Well, Keeling now pushing up. He could potentially. Are we going to see a Baku versus Timo uh, or an L1 versus Timo happening here? Nah, because he's not the, sitting in the building. <laughs> no, the doors are open, yeah. Oh, that Nate. That didn't uh, go correctly. Yeah, but Kibiab maybe hurt him. Yep, 30 seconds. Must have hurt the Nate at least. Oh, but killing isn't doing anything there. Ooh, oh, killing get, get killed by block. Oh, he's moving in. Kviat hurt him, I think. What's the holding? 20 seconds. Killing. He knows he's there. Comes around. Go for the touch. Yeah, what is he? Yeah, he gets a touch! <laughs> what and a he play! Gets away. He gets away! He doesn't have enough time though! Oh, he gets the touch! Edemek instantly a lot of friendly fire, but <laughs> oh, what the fuck! Nice! <laughs> really well played! <laughs> that was a card at the end of the round. Well, he, but oh, yeah. <laughs> Well played! He, uh, at least he got a touch in. If they get a flex score in, it will win them the bronze final. That's something you need to. Do yeah. you understand? They have one flag touch, the zero flag scores. Well, IBC has one flag score and one flag touch. So this can happen, can go all the ways. But I really like this play. McPherson really uh, on top of there. 16 AA having the advantage against uh, IBC. I wouldn't say that, but they are way, the kill that is way better than that the, oh, yeah. uh, than that IBC skill that is. Yeah, indeed. If they uh, if they um, get rid of one defender and going to attack with uh, uh, one more yeah like mid player is, then they can pull things off. Oh yeah. So really well done. Oh, what a match! What a match! I need to uh, switch around. I don't switch around. I forgot that I needed to do uh, my thing. So here we are. Um, Timo, can you check if Snow is already ready for the German I cast already? can. Is he? Yeah, he is. Then I will move, uh, yeah, move downstairs. Yep. And, yeah. Okay. It was a pleasure. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Timo. Yeah, have fun. Uh, yeah, And bye -bye. Uh, good luck. Yo, to you too. Okay. So, when, uh, last moment, uh capture there and if he if he had more seconds there Smitler, he could have get away would be the chance he, yeah he could have again in the way that's the whole that's lost the whole thing i'm so so sad about that basically ah uh, don't be sad <laughs> uh, let me check i can uh, get away from that so um basically scoreboard round one let me check. Scoreboard round one. Blue flag score was one. Blue flag touch was one, if I'm correct. A red flag score was yes. zero. And red flag touch was one.
Correct. So uh, really tight. If uh, 16 AA can get an uh, can get the sneaky, the, the sneaky, next then they won. Then they won, and they can they. I can... Holy fuck! Okay. <laughs> Something fell down. They really can. Uh, they can get it in. Basically, I I I honestly think they if they change That's around a, chance, a little yeah. bit, they can get it in. Basically, so um, I yeah I'm. It's tight. It's tight at least. You know, it's not like that one team is running over the other. It's really tight at this moment. And that's that's something I like to see, that it's it's even games, basically. And it's fun games. And I hope the teams have fun as well. Also, don't forget to clip <laughs> clip that from, uh, how is it called? Who was it? That uh, Keeling? Keeling? Was it Keeling? That Let's Flex uh, capture. Please yeah. capture that. Please uh, clip that. We need more clips. I need clips to make a, a cool movie about CTF. <laughs> so, um, round two. What do you expect, Smitler? I would say uh, maybe the 16 AA guys will push a little harder now. Maybe going only for two flexi. I hope. Try to get the early push uh, and then. Yeah, just build the wall, basically, after yep. they get the early point. I need to say that 16th AA has been using a lot of rocket launchers to terraform the... That's good, I uh, like that. ...the terrain, and that's something I like in this, uh, as well. Are we ready? Are they asking us? I'm saying yes. we are ready. Let's go. Let's go, come on. Come on, push us in. Come on, Flash Ranger. 16th ready. There we go. It's uh, round two of this really tight bronze final. Oh, the yeah. Glorious best that's in front of this final with one flex score. Only one flex score. If 16th AA can get a flex score in, they will automatically have a flex touch, what will win them on flex touches. I think they're, uh, I think they're acknowledging that. So... Uh, I think they will uh, they will start pushing because Flanagan on that front helped out a lot as well. We are in game. My scoreboard oh, yes. is working. I'm going to transition us into the game. I press F1. I press F5. I press O. The, the team seems un uh, team seems unchanged. I see indeed. Reject platoon. Okay. It's a 16 AO. Oh, there's a 16 AA logos. Does ABC has logos? On their arms, I like that. IBC, no logos, not no organized, logos. not organized. <laughs> okay, I'm. Uh, I wanted to see what uh, weapons uh, 16 would get. I see 115. I see 115. I see uh, the M16 thing like a lot 5, of 6. yeah, the 556. Five, There's only one guy with the 115. Carbiner will only approve pri <laughs> the defender Duke. And uh, IBC, the I think it's... Side, uh, same, but uh, one P90, one 125. Yeah, the P90 is something that uh, I see more getting played as well lately. Block and Faxon trying to get something out of the crate. I didn't see them use the machine gun. That's something that is not used very often. That's but correct. I think it can be used. And I still say, please use the sniper on this long road over here mm -hmm. on the left-hand side. You can basically sit under this car and wait for them but yeah and i'm happening. still missing i'm still missing the over under shotgun who cleared almost dying by a hawk there on that uh, thing they instantly go try to terraform this building uh in the back of the flag that's something they want to get rid of apparently first work it went there and yes we see indeed only ben and duke are defending because flanagan is now on the other side Going up, and first blood is made by McPherson. McPherson killing a lot more. Only Enemek between him and her. Enemek killing him. Hawken killing still alive though. As well Flanagan. Flanagan is sneaky sneaky by. But it will push them a little bit back. Hawk is changing positions. I think he got called out that uh, Edemek is still running around there. So he's on his mission to kill him. Did see him. Goes to the other angle. Waits for him. 
He knows that he's there. And Mac and the Hawk sitting in a standoff, basically. Hawk knows exactly where he is. Did Keeling die? No, the Keeling didn't die. Hawk trying to be the moving party. Adamek acknowledging that. Hawk winning this engagement. Fengen died. Keeling still alive. Ooh, McPherson. Hawk killing uh, Settler there. Yeah. Surely, and again, IBC having two flag defenders, something they didn't see in uh, the last match. Ever. See, we, we didn't saw that ever in the whole tournament, not, not from IBC. No, so they acknowledge that they are in front of this tournament, they are in the winning side, and they want to have two flag defenders, but make that one, because Kipu got sniped by, uh, by Hawk in that construction building. Keeling did see Kwiat, but didn't kill him. Adamek and uh, Hawk still on the fight. Didn't connect the shots with Adamek. Said Block is still alive with McPherson, but needs to uh, defend uh, or attack against two players there. Then again, uh, moving up. Block going into the building. Nasty. I was thinking about this building earlier, a long time ago. That this building is really nasty to defend the flag, basically. You can see exactly in. Flanagan on the run there. Uh, gets uh, traded though. Keeling still alive. Block is still alive. Block getting good. That long block. Oh! Duke saving this. Hey, finally they clean out block. But Adamek is there for the follow up. Skipu and Faxon are running up. Keeling is still alive. Sees Flexen. Gives away his position. Reset. Um. Uh, we will see some smoke grenades again. We will see, probably. I didn't do the uh, correct text in uh, Nicholas. If you hear this, if you already did that, did that, can you change the Twitch text? Thanks you. Ooh, Adamek, nasty position there. McPherson getting killed by that rocket. Fiat uh, <laughs> killing uh, Skipu there. Vanagan, really good defender last time, but also a really good attacker apparently. I didn't see a lot of Keeling. Keeling is just holding position. I would like to see him moving towards Kwiat, to be honest. And this. Settler opening the flag. Nobody there to defend. Only Ben. And gets him. Healing still waiting. No, it's your friendly McPherson. That Nate. It's your friendly McPherson. Oh. <gasps> He was so used to the other side. I know that feeling. Yep. Heart pounding, basically. Did Skipu die? Or is he just laying down there? He's just laying down there. Okay. A little bit. Keeling again, still sitting in that corner in that house. I don't know which corner he's sitting, but he's just waiting. McPherson moving up. Killing block in the meanwhile. Hawk moving up. Keeling, now looking behind, knows that Settler is running through. Maybe called him out that he's running through the middle. McPherson going in the side house. Settler just running through. Flanagan, though, seems to turn in to maybe uh, intercept. McPherson getting another kill in. Yeah, on Skipu.
IBC full in defense at this moment. Healing, finally killing somebody. Faxon. Kwiat getting almost killed by Block. Flanagan and Hawk. Moat in the same house. McPherson on the flag as well. Healing getting... Really good trade-off. This could okay. be it. This could be it. Don't kill him. Capture the flag. Run back. Run back. Run back. Come on, 16 AA. You can do this. There's defense. There's a line. Only settler between them. McPherson running back. The panic. What? The panic. McPherson has the flag. Settler has been killed, though, by Duke. Flanagan walk, <laughs> walking with it. We did see a comeback, yeah. If Holy he heck. Really well played by them. Go so uh, choose the open road. I wouldn't do that to be honest. And Hawk is still, still there, yeah, but he gets killed now. IBC needs to come back. Flanagan did score, scored him back quite nicely. He can, here he comes, and he scores a 60 day A point. That Whoa. means <laughs> what a comeback! What a comeback! Oh, what a run! What a run by McPherson on the right hand yeah. flank, killing a lot, and instantly got into the flag area. Holy shit! That slow push. Yep. That slow push, Nick. That slow push. Clip that. Clip that. Clip that. <laughs> Clip that. <laughs> but here's IBC, not uh, showing what they want to. Instantly, no, no kill, of course, by the Nate. We will not see Nate kills. Only Nate kills that are on the other side of the map. Vexen and correct. Keeling uh, going at each other. Now Settler, Block and Adamek. Three against two. But uh, here is uh, 16A. If they can keep their calm, they can... Uh, make it's first... not over yet. We have 21 minutes left. So it's, nothing is over. Why is my Duke? Should know that he's been seen now there. Adamek on that f spawn camping position. And it's only Duke and Ben left. But there's no backup. Oh, Hawk is there as well. Duke and Ben left. One flag touch will... Uh, oh! Ooh. One flag touch will uh, get them back into the game, basically. But last round, uh, they all they didn't have the most skills. 60 day AS. So uh, if it's going to be that night, that night will kill you. Uh, the lead. <laughs> that crossfire on uh, oh. McPherson now. Maybe a second one. Nope, nobody can get that flag. Ben is... Uh, Not today. Not today. 16 Not AA is in uh, in the, fair, in the uh, lead. Oh, yes. And Faxon is also getting killed. It seems like uh, IBC is trying to put up a lot of pressure, but they can't get him in there. A lot of friendly fires I saw happening as well. There's now some rest. And Hawk in that building there, just killing Settler there. Only Skipu alive. And Skipu There's was a panic the. At IBC, I guess, no? Skipu was the flag defender. And now is indeed an uh, attacker. A little bit of panic, indeed, I think. They didn't expect this. But that's it, guys. It's, it's not over until it's over. Old. Uh... Old Castle lore. Yeah, cool. old Castle lore. Skipu knows exactly. <laughs> I wanted to say knows exactly what Duke is, but he didn't. Faxon killing Flanagan, but now McPherson and Keelan both on the flag. If they kill Kia, they can get another t touch in. Probably they know where he is. Fiat acknowledging that he needs to defend the flag, goes to the other window, looks at the flag. Faxon on the far flank, Block and Adamek now pushing a lot as well. Hawk is still there though. And a little bit of a stalemate. Faxon will see Fenling again now. Ooh, that's... Ooh! That rocket. Duke is now alone against two. And they know oh, no. where he oh, is. No, 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 no. Forget, forget what I say. There's Flanagan and Hawk. Doing long range security. Yeah, yeah, but, but that Nate. But Vexen. Only one touch. Only one touch. Edemek again will will be bad about it. Nate McPherson. Oh, I thought he would have got him. 
Keeling and the McPherson both getting killed. They and the McPherson still alive though. But he's alone, it seems. Yep. And uh, support from uh, from Fixin AA is coming. Eighteen minutes left. <laughs> oh, nice angle from from Friend again. Basically on the move. Look to the left, see their opportunity, and took it. Yep. Fixin still holding that uh, nasty angle. They know it now, but they can't cross the road. Ooh, that one shot by Keeling! <laughs> Flanagan uh, holding middle, doesn't know that Block is behind him. Oh, hurts him. Gets them both, really nice. Push up, Skipu will uh, be the next one in line. Will he acknowledge that? Skipu stopped moving. Didn't hear it. And uh, 16th AA. Now holding back a little bit. Maybe trying to form a line. McPherson killing uh, Skipu there. I think they're still in the lead for a score at the moment, it looks like. 34, it's not a lot of lead, but it's still a lead. Oh. Nine kills, yeah. And if in, I think it's even that way, even if they get a touch in, uh, Sid or the IBC guys, the kill that from round one will also... Uh, uh, yeah, and then that's being uh, act, yeah being called in. Then so, six AAs will win then. So they at least need one flag touch to uh, to get it Die. even, and then make a shit ton of kills. Better six... get the flag score and be safe. Yep, settler going around, gets seen by F McPherson. McPherson no settler. Look at McPherson going. Flanagan almost getting him. McPherson did try to shoot block, didn't get a hit. Hawk now, they're now defending with three people again. Keeling, can you keep it up with three people? Yes, I think you can, but you shouldn't try to be honest. Block and Skip who's still alive. And I don't think even they are defending with three guys. I think they're defending with four guys because McPherson was holding that angle as well. Started to move as soon as I started, started it. Ben and Duke. Ben again now. I think he has been called out. Duke did die. Nice nade. Ben again died. Keeling still alive. Trying to get uh, Settler there. I think he's a little bit stuck in the wall. Yup, he was. You hear the bells ring. Oh, yeah. The bells of comeback. Is he going to stand up that little real barrel? The comeback from the comeback unit, basically. Only one defender at the moment. McPherson died. He and Adam alive. Mac will be angry. Adam Mac will be angry after that. And almost died there. McPherson. McPherson. MVP were things there. Faction again in that in a nasty building. You still know both. The team captain of 16 AA? Uh, ben. Ben, okay, so. Ben again coming back, try to flush out Settler, but Settler is in the second story. Won't be easy, he's healing. He's healing, will he be on time? Speed by the corner! He isn't on time! Oh, <laughs> Flanagan just going in. Healing Settler again. still healing, healing yeah. again. Yeah, healing. How many, <laughs> how many heals can he do? Two. Two heals and then you're bleeding out. Keeling waiting for the exact same moment. That's what we saw last time. I criticized him, but it came back for a flex score. Duke, complete different angle. Kill Settler. Ben makes good measure for it. <laughs> and another Ooh. rocket. Like we forget Hawk every time. Like every time yeah. I'm lo looking at the flag and I'm thinking, oh shit, it's open. But then we have Hawk. Block now he's getting shot at that uh, McPherson. Block just shooting in the wild. And Hawk getting a shit ton of kills on uh, the thing. Oh, there's that, yeah. Hawk is good. Hawk is good. Healing. Trying to get another flag touch in. It will help you. The slow play of Keeling. Will it work out? 
Buck did die by McPherson. They're holding the flank. If Kriat if Kriat runs now, he gets a flag touch. He doesn't know. But if Kriat runs now, he has a flag touch. Because Kriat is uh or if uh, Mac Keeling. Kriat is looking the other way. They don't know that. Everybody's in firefight with each other. Edemek, Edemek is angry, he kills two there. And here comes Keeling from building to building. Settler died. Building to building. Kriat is now looking. Pooh, that long range on Edemek. He will see Fixen if I'm correct. No, we won't. Skipu! Skipu. Ben is there and gets crossfired. Keeling is still alive though. What is Keeling going to do? He's at the enemy flag. He knows where Kwiat is, so he's trying to get that angle in. I wouldn't show my position basically. Block is still alive. Killed McPherson. Hawk is holding the angle. They leave block. They leave block. Jackson coming by, Edemek coming by, Skipu coming by, Kwiat looking the other way. If Keeling can get that flag and go back into that house, he can just hold it. They don't know where he is, 100%. Banging died by Settler there. Block is still alive, isn't he? Settler died. Mixing AA, mixing up the concrete, building the wall. It's time. Off. As long as they don't clear Hawk out, they can't capture that flag. Easy as that. Yeah. Kriat need the only thing that Keeling needs to have exact timing that Kriat is looking like he's looking now outside, not into the building. That nade. Oh, McPherson grenade. Good nade. Four people, but still three people to defend. And a mech. Oh, Killing Ben. Oh, and only block left. And there we go. MVP Hawk there in that building. Oh, uh, MVP Hawk. Holy, holy shit. Yep. That's the last. I think this is the same building that uh, TTT has been sitting in. And they destroyed this wall as well. Uh, on the left side of the blue flag, basically. And then you could see everybody coming in. It's a really good affection killing, killing. That means that he's known now. Kriot instantly checking the other side. That's Kid. the time where... This where, is the time to push. Where map knowledge will pay out. Basically. When you know which stuff can be destroyed and everything, then yep. you know best. Lennick and the Settler. McPherson passing by. Doesn't see him. Lennick should know where he is. Keeling still on the run though. Keeling, it what? Keeling takes no prisoners. <laughs> Settler. Settler. Keeling taking no prisoners indeed. Settler still alive in a fight with uh, Flanagan, but uh, <laughs> can't die apparently. Faction going into and, the building now. And, it's trapped. and there he goes. Keeling. Keeling. Keeling, if you watch this back, you will see what an opportunity you had for uh, um, capturing that flag. But really well played by him, killing a lot of oh, people yeah. in a short notice. Suddenly he was there, killed five in a row, I think. Check the scores. Nine minutes to go. Uh, IBC behind one flag touch. But uh, if they get a flag touch in, IBC is also behind on... Uh, kill that so yeah. um, really close here we go again everybody move position only the hawk the hawk is still in the building almighty hawk oh three grenades in a row yeah they want to kill out that blue oh there we go meta smokes oh, oh nice meta smokes eight minutes nine minutes left Full assault from IBC. Four people suddenly at the uh, black area. Luck is there. Gets killed though by uh, McPherson. Settler yeah. Edemek is Kipu. Hawk is still alive. McPherson killing two now in that building. Holy shit. Kipu is called out. Keeling should attack him. 
go around. And the killing Duke is hurt though. Needs to get that, yeah. They're Hawk's still alive. Hawk's still alive. And I, I'm sure they didn't call out Hawk because there is a door. We can approach the thing be be be. They don't behind. know. I don't think they know or, where he is. I don't think. Or, right. or shoot a rocket in the house. Uh, uh, so, yeah, but yeah, communication he, from IC maybe. Like, he's pretty far backwards as well, in an angle, looking at yeah. ex exactly at the thing. I love that. If I'm in first person view, he, he can exactly see the flag area. So there's yeah, there's no. There's no going by, basically. They, if they don't kill him out here, you won't capture that flag. Maybe a touch in. Faction in a nasty building, though. Getting tilled by McPherson, oh, what a shot. What? And suddenly okay, we see yeah. three guys from uh, IBC. Here's Block with the rocket. They get, get called out because I see McPherson. And there's one more. They're getting ambushed. Is he healing? He is. He's healing. Oh, ambush. And, and there goes Keeling off in the distance again. Another push. Oh, Seven they, minutes to go. We, 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 in this game, how good or how how uh, how much of a factor is good communication is? A we lot. Saw, we saw the IBC guys, I would not say rolling over the uh, the the Black Wolves, but 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 had indeed better communication yes and it seems it seems 60a has a communication level on, on point on point so uh i and hawk and hawk is still still mixing up the concrete there of course it's uh of course it's a little bit of slower play and against oh, yeah. really really high teams like n88 at ttt and uh, maybe even the ttt2 and fantastic war that won't work out because you when you think you can push there's already one there now um yeah. it works out here and what i like to see about 16a they had three defenders it worked them out they lost control and they said okay no more we're going for one defender or two defenders and now they got back in the lead again and now they have three defenders back in again what why why would you yeah, why would you lose that battle? Maybe they know that IBC is better in PvP and oh, yeah. winning that battle. So they, I, I would say this is tactical. Easy as that. Um, beating the enemy, beating the enemy is good. Yeah, it, you need to. It, different enemies they require different playstyles. Killing, winning that engagement there oh, against Skippo. Against Skippo, yeah, nice. McPherson shot. against Faction. This opens up again. And they play, I think, tactically slow. Basically, Adamek is going to try to go for it. I think. With they took their angles, they took their position, line by line, and it's in AA. Stop. And waited for the opportunity. And yeah, got the push through. Enemek and Duke uh, know exactly where he is. Block and McPherson, block killing him though. Enemek gets killed That's by right. Duke. Flagging again. Five, five minutes left, five minutes left. Flanagan also heard me and said, said, okay, I'm going to sit in that house. Nick's like, that house. I'm going to sit in it. Faction get killed, Keeling and Mac uh, Flanagan now on the top. Keeling, Keeling again. What an attacker. Is one, uh, uh, definitely a guy that's really MVP worthy. It said that they, uh, the third race doesn't get a vote in the MVP award. Closes the door. Skip lets him know that he's there. Would you attack him? Keeling getting him. Flanagan still alive there. Keeling still yeah. alive there. What? Keeling is alive? Yep. Okay. Keeling up. Killing Fixin as well. Oh. And Keeling uh, doing a massive job here in the first capture uh, uh, as well. Oh. And now maybe going to try to get a second capture. Kills fucking Kviat. Now McPherson is there. Okay. This opens okay. it up. It's time. Time. And a Nate! What? The Nate! The Nate by McPherson! With the MLG Nate! Runs back, but will get killed. That's the flag touch, holy heck. But McPherson, one, maybe gets two. No, he didn't get two. Oh, Keeling. With the nasty... Oh. Well, with the Matt nasty... Pearson with the MLG Nate! <laughs> against, the against the defending player. 
Oh, nice Nate. I need to say that. Holy yeah. shit. So, um, with three minutes to go, uh, it's going to be hard for uh, IBC. IBC, yeah, that's right. Tactical play wins over PvP play, apparently. Reading the enemy, doing the exact exact tactics, counter counter the IBC play style, it seems. And that's why I like to go to see what TTT against Fantastic War is going to do, because that uh, this map with this play, you see it, you can hold angles, you can be as good as PvP as you want, Flanagan in the flank, but uh, tactics help. Switching around people, having three defenders instead of two, uh, going really slow, because Keeling has been going really slow, maybe gets the double kill here, only gets one in though. Keeling going really slow, but is one of the yeah best players at the moment. 20 to 10, so he's a kill dead of two. Um, yeah, so final will also be interesting, but it's not over yet. One flex score can turn around everything for IBC, basically. They have two minutes to do so. McPherson getting Kviat, nice, waited for him, and they know it. They probably know it, that they need to push. Luck getting Flanagan there, but still, three guys... And a crossfire. If you see the tracers, that's just... He gets so many bullets into his head. All over the place. The All over the place. I'm um, I'm really curious. I will ask um, uh, the Ben guy. Uh, so Ben, basically Salty Crocs from 16AA. McPherson also killing everybody. Can push probably. 27 kills for him. I will ask Settler uh, to, uh, or Settler, I will ask, uh, I don't make. Uh, no, Ben for an uh, interview, basically. Both, we need both, we need both teams, obviously. Yeah, one by one, yes. We have 40, uh, 20 minutes left for the finals. Finals will be Fantastic War versus TTT. Also really interesting to see. So stick tight to nine o'clock. And yep. uh, 30 seconds. One minute, one minute, one, one minute. minute. Do we think? I see four defenders. 16 AA is not going to keep uh, flush this no. out. Keeling there though still though. Trade shots. Keeling, yeah. Keeling there for multiple flag touches for one flag score. He was there. He helped his team out. Definitely one, in my opinion, the MVP of this game. 100%. Yeah. Oh, look at the kills, Nick. That's a clear, clear message. They uh, turn it around. They turn it around really quickly. We thought it was going to be a slow game, and what we got was an amazing game by yeah, 16 day A. Unbelievable. I'm stunned. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. I'm stunned. The MLG nades. The buildings. The keeling. And they get it. They get it. Well, they get it. Unbelievable. Holy, heck. Holy fucking heck. So, instant interview. Instant interview. Instant poke. Interview, please. <laughs> I'm waiting for a message back. Does he message back? The real question. Oh. Hey, wake up. We got somebody. Oh, I can join the channel. Yeah, that's something. I got him. I got him. I've got him. Where's where's where are we in this team speak? Here we are. Three one, three one. Hello, Ben. Ben. Hello, 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 guys. How are we doing? How are you doing? That's the real question. Ah, dude, man, that was a fucking hard fight. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh, I love that. That was a really, really good match. You, uh, you, um, you did uh, do your uh, expectations. Now I'm trying to go to my caster cam overview, but it doesn't work. For fuck's sake. It's fine. Okay, there we go. So um, you said you wanted to enter. Firth, you ended third. How are you feeling? Like, how uh, was the match for you? I, I tell you what, the match was great. 
uh, our expectations oh, yeah. uh, fulfilled. We wanted to go for first. Um, and I'd say if we studied more, uh, we totally would have gotten first. But third for this year is uh, exactly what we wanted. So we're really happy today. Did you try different tactics during the game? Because we thought that we saw different tactics during the game. Uh, so we were uh, switching it up during the game. Uh, we are kind of feeling the map. We only were able to uh, study the map for about a few hours before today. Uh, we are studying positions, um, some rockets on some key buildings. Um, obviously, the other team uh, mm -hmm. planning it as well. Uh, really, really good. We, we enjoyed ourselves um, switching it up from tactics, uh, kind of defending. If we would go 3-3 three, three or uh, even just 2-4, uh, we decided in the end 2-4 uh, would be uh, yeah. sufficient. Yeah, we did see, We did really see like uh, the first uh, capture was a little bit of, uh, I say that, unfortunate for you uh, in the first round. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say it's a pretty uh, blue four heavy side. I'd say the buildings um, surrounding the blue four flag are just uh, way easier to defend the flag. Uh, well, while on the red four, you have these uh, loads of openings with uh, all the buildings looking onto the red flag, uh, where uh, just the blue four can can uh, shoot whoever's uh, on the uh, up four flag. Uh, so we decided it's going to be a blue four heavy match. Uh, so we decided uh, three three on up four and. 4-2 uh, on blue 4. Yeah, well, it uh, it worked out for you. We were questioning why you were having three defenders, but it worked out perfectly. And then Keeling in the uh, last moments in round 2, definitely MVP worthy there, doing a lot of damage and uh, oh, yeah. getting your guys a flag. What bring you... winning. And the as winning well, touch. what was also a meta play, I want to say that, I don't know who it was, I think it was Flanagan, but yeah. the last touch in round 1. Who oh, was yeah. that? Oh, that was Keeling. We were ah. even saying to ourselves, it would be a great function if we could have like an overtime feature uh, mm -hmm. where if the um, flag is taken at the you know, very last seconds, it can be like, you know, Overwatch even. Um, yeah. game, uh, you can have it go into extra time and once the flag bearer is you know, being killed or down or it goes into, uh, if you get the point, uh, that would be a great feature. But yeah, no, uh, it was, if we had a bit more time, I'd say even just 30 seconds we would have um, we would have probably uh, even got the uh, tap flag because yep. I think it was pretty it was pretty open if I remember in the first. Oh round. yeah, it was it yeah. was. But yeah, so we, uh, but, but then it was it was the the, the winning flag the, the winning flag touch basically. You 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 won the third uh, the third place uh, yeah in the first in the first half I guess so yeah, yeah. and uh, and my my final answer is how much do Hawk love his house now. <laughs> yeah, because, oh, we, we, because uh... we, we saw him basically twenty minutes yeah. staying in this house on this window, not moving and killing a lot of people. Though so that was hilarious, dude. Hog uh, probably MVP of the team. Uh, just just the pure amount of hours he has uh, in this game. Uh, just doing uh, even um, Daisy and all that good stuff. He knows his way around the maps and stuff like that. He's a, he's a legend. I uh, I really liked your play style. I also have your. Uh... Kill that uh, ratio now. So oh, uh, God. yeah, 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 yeah. But it's it's better than Animex. I uh, interviewed <laughs> Animex as well. No, uh, here we got Ben. Uh, did you have a flex score this match? No, I don't think so. Did you have a flex touch this match? So that doesn't change. You no, had a kill that no. of one point six. You are a defender, weren't you? Yeah, I'm basically what I was. My function was uh, as team coordinator, looking on the map and calling out pings and defending Ooh. the flag. So you ba basically. Defending the flag and coordinating your team. Yeah, uh, just uh, uh, so I change the players. I'm telling I tell Flanagan to stay on defense, then to go on offense. Uh, what uh, Hogg's function was, he was kind of like a, a aggressor and defender at the same time. Mm -hmm. We call it like an intermediate defense. Uh, that's him. Just um, if he sees the flag is open, he go for it. But uh, he'll just be in the middle of the map, causing chaos. That's that's his function. And he did well, I would say. He did well. Hog, Hog was really, really good. Yeah, I really, I really impressed by how you play against IBC. I, uh, I heard how the bets went between you and Ness. I was yeah. a little bit uh, de not desperate. I don't want to know, but I uh, want to say, but a little bit worried maybe that IBC was going to run over you, but they didn't. 
and you uh, stood your man and uh, it won you the bronze medal, bronze medal and that was one of the things that you were aiming for. So, uh, exactly. congratulations. Um, yeah, good job. Yeah, guys, I'm uh, looking forward to next year for sure. It was a great, great year. Uh, looking at uh, TTT next year, uh, next time we'll know the map and you won't be able to roll over us in the first oh, round. Oh, yeah. here's <laughs> okay. the call out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Any favorite team? Any favorite team, uh, Ben, uh, for tonight? Favorite, favorite team? I'm going to have to go for TTT, guys. Come on. Yes. You, can't, you can't just be rolling over us and then uh, not win it. First, shit talks you, and then he says, like, okay, TTT needs to win. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It's how it is, guys. It's how it is. Anyway, thanks for having us. Uh, we enjoyed ourselves, and we're looking forward to next year. Yes, okay. thanks, uh, thanks for uh, having you here, and uh, hopefully you stay for the final. Stay put. Greetings yeah. for your team. We'll, we'll watch and then... the, uh... And uh, final, say yeah. GG to your team, and to yeah. Hawk, and to Keeling. <laughs> and to Keeling, and the Hawk, and everyone else. Brilliant. It will do. Really well played. Thank you, guys. Anyway, bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. I've switched another guy in here because we have still 15 minutes left and uh, then uh, we're going for a short break. It's Nefs. Hello, Nefs. Nefs. Hello, Nefs. Hello, people. Hello, Nefs. I uh, asked you uh, to uh, come here and here comes Nefs, the scorer of less time of the Pro Cup. MVP. Uh, I need to stop this. Flex touches one. Flex scores sort of uh, 0 0.3 flex scores. I don't know how you manage that. Kill death of almost two, one of the most or the most kills of the Pro Cup. Um, I just wanted to know what you thought of the bronze final if you watched it, Nefs. You should it have. Was, it was really interesting. Both teams decided that they're just gonna not use two thirds of the of the map and use many defenders, uh, mm -hmm. which was really I've I've never seen this before and kind of went against our logic of playing uh, CTF uh, as it is. <laughs> Uh, but that, in order to for this to succeed, they had to push together a lot. Uh, I didn't see none of that. I saw maybe a few flanks, but like against two defenders, you can't really do that. No. There were like times when they pushed together, but as a two man, it's it, it, it isn't the easiest job to do. But it was really interesting, and the uh, scores show that it was really close game. Did you? Uh... Find it well deserved? Did you find the the plays that they made 16 day especially well deserved plays because they had some nice plays together? I think that when you play it like this, this uh, many defenders this closely together on the map, it comes down to the details. I and uh, as it's as it showed, they got the details right. Mm -hmm. And also, you have to have some luck when you're playing. Yeah, of course, you need some luck. We saw the meta nate from. Uh, what, what I think McPherson killing block, what, yeah. yeah, 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 killing, uh, killing block, what could have opened the uh, flag and uh, couldn't run back. Anyway, um, well deserved by 16 AA. But I also want to know what who's your favorite team for tonight, Devs? Tonight, or TTT the finals or Fantastic War? Uh, for me, the finals. I think I'm gonna go for Fantastic War. Oh. Smith, I've, I've I see Smithler crying already. <laughs> I, I've, I've seen them training. I haven't seen much from TTT, so I'm going based on what I know. Yeah, I'm uh, last year or yeah, roughly last year again. I think they they lost against Fantastic or uh, Fantastic War won against TTT, but that was on the map storage, and we all know storage. It's the best map of the tournament, but it's not the final map, and it wasn't PvP heavy map, so. I'm curious to see if Fantastic War can bring this TTT down to his knees again in another map. And that's something to find out tonight in 10 minutes when the match starts. Because for now, I'm going to the Be Right Back screen. And uh, we yeah. will be back in roughly 5 to 10 minutes. And then uh, yeah. we can do a pee break. And um, after the match, I want to talk to you again, Nefs. I'll be there. You'll be there. Good luck, everybody. I need to go to the Be Right Back screen. And then say...
We are here, Schmidtler. Yes. For the final of uh, Fantastic War versus TTT. The redemption oh, yeah. match. The redemption change match. The change the text next. Oh, I didn't. I thought I was so organized, but I went. I am not. I always forget one thing. I always forget one thing. It is not the bronze final. It is the grand final. There we go. Um, I see both teams uh, sitting uh, steadily in the uh, room. They are looking at each other. Fantastic War with a complete, nah, yeah, not a complete li new lineup, but a newer lineup. And TTT, I think it's the same lineup as last year or last time. Yes, and so, yesterday. Yeah, and yesterday, yeah. Um, we've seen Baku, we've seen Beckert, Baku, the flag defender, L1, Inari, the annoying player, Nenart, the team captain, and Mr. Wang. And then we have the Chisas, the flag defender, and the team captain, Daniel and Busto. Did we see Daniel yesterday, yeah? Okay, I didn't know. I think so, yeah. And I, I'm honestly, I still say it, Okido, I don't remember him from last cup. Sorry, Okido, if I, uh, if I offend you like that, but uh, I don't remember him. But a uh, really good player, what have we seen yesterday? Uh, Spocky and Wolfenstein, are they going to redeem themselves? DTT in the map, Sofia. Schmidtler, your thoughts? Uh, we will see. I guess so. I hope so. Uh, I have always... My patch is ready, so uh... <laughs> does it? No, it doesn't stick. It doesn't stick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. have an SOF patch yet. It doesn't. <laughs> uh, Fantastic War, please send me a Fantastic War patch so I can be the other side of Smithler. Um, yeah, last time they fought each other on storage, and storage was the map that uh, that we played with fantastic war a lot and it's an yes. a map what you yeah what Tomitler also doesn't like basically is the map isn't uh really high elevated it's a pvp heavy map i like it but for tactical things you won't like it and ttt it's in their name it's tactical tactical training team they like to do tactical yes. they like to do training and they like to That's do team right. yes <laughs> so we will see if the contestant from the last uh uh, from the last last final, if TDT now uses a chance after all the training and uh, all that, uh, yeah, map testing to uh, to win against Fantastic War or or will Fantastic War win this again? And it looks like both teams are ready. So Nick, are you ready? Are you hyped up? I I am ready. I'm hyped. I'm 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 wanting to see this. I want to see TTT win this. No offense to Fantastic War, but. Uh... At this moment, they are my favorite. I want to see what's going on. I think we're still waiting for uh, for some people uh, to uh, to join in. Seems like uh, some people are. Uh... Oh, what? Oh, there we go. Ah, my yeah, ears. <laughs> my ears. <laughs> okay, I'm going to that one. I'm pressing F5 first, F1 and O, and then uh, I have this dank animation. Here we go. I should have done uh, this is a dank animation. Look at that. Specially made for us by Nicholas. Fantastic War against Tactical Training Team. I'm going to the red side or the blue side first. I see two guys uh, sitting dead and we wait for them to uh, do that. Hey, they have the Tactical Training Team 2 patches. Yeah, or at sure. least three of them. One of them has the Tactical Training 1 patch. It's a Chisa. What do we see? We see Katiba, we see P90, we see Katiba, and we see the one... I, I don't remember that gun. I'm such a bad armor player. I don't know the guns out of my head. On the other side, we see nothing special. Uh, P90 Sting. Back it with the Sting, yeah. Then, yeah. No rockets for a Fantastic no War. Rocket launcher. I can predict that, that we see Wolfenstein with a rocket. No, also no rocket launcher, it oh, seems okay. like. No rocket launcher from both teams here. Okay, oh, do push. you do you remember the the last time they played against them and what was the score again? I don't, I can't, I can't remember. I totally don't. But I can, I, I can look it up. Yeah, I'll look, look it, it up now. 
Baku one flag defender. This is a complete different map, a complete different layout to what we've seen in the lower bracket. Okido killing L1 in the uh, construction building. Daniel and Obusto firing it up. Wang there to intercept Daniel. We will see a lot more pushing happening probably. Um, it seems like Wolverstein is a little bit of a mid player at the moment. Okido coming around. Beckett waiting for him. Fantastic Warriors, four people on the rush. Pocky there though, Wolfenstein there though, and the cheese house between the flag and the rest. Wolfenstein killing one. Spooky killing one. Maybe kills the second one. Spooky, the play. He waited, he waited. He didn't, he did see Innery, but he didn't shoot him because Nennard was next to him. Really well played there. L1 holding, L Buster holding. And it's a still mate. They just want to make sure they have control over that 50 line, Smidler. Yeah. Wolfenstein, what an angle. What an angle. 5-0. 5-0. 5-0, 5-0, 5-flex scores. It seems so, yeah. Or Elbusto trading see. there. I think they had a flex score, but don't know. Lord, if you hear this, please tell us in the chat if you uh, yeah. if it was flag scores or flag touches. We need to know. Oh, and I see that's oh no, we have uh, uh, in the last uh, the last battle we have we uh, we had uh, we had we had Cosmidodo, Demon, and Inukas. Okay, so that's basically half the team. So it's a complete new team. PGT. Where are the yeah okay. So uh, TTT uh, holding that 50 line, holding uh, Fantastic War quite off. Okido uh, trading there. Wolverstein did not die yet. Still there with Obasto, with that, and a Fantastic War is trying to get a hold on what is happening and who's playing where. And TTT taking it easy. This is what I mean when TTT wants to. What is Pupu in there? Oh, they're forming. Albasto killing L1, Wang killing Danuwo in the meantime. Albasto doesn't care, runs through. Where's L1? L1 died. Okay, Wolfenstein pushing up. The building where Wolfenstein is in, that's a nasty building to be in. Oh, yeah. Can control the whole middle. Albasto with Beckett in a fight, gets him. Wang died. Spooky now versus Nenard. With Nenard wins that. Means that the north flank, is that the north flank? It is the south flank, of course. And <laughs> Fantastic War likes to draw on the map. Um, it's now complete in the hands of Fantastic War. Can they turn that around? Spocky is the only guy, but if he holds that road, they can't get up there. Obasto died there by uh, Baku, I think, or by L1. And Okido is there. Okido is there with Wang. Gets the kill. Now Baku is still there. Why do you heal there, Okido? Daniel's there. Baku's checking. Daniel, or he should be called out to Daniel where he sits. And we see a lot of pressure from uh, TTT suddenly out of nowhere. Yeah, that's good. Daniel is waiting for support. Ooh, Inari died. Ooh. Mm. Nana killed Spocky there. Baku's still alive. The Mechano line, the new Mechano line of. Uh, Fantastic War. Last time it was Gator. He isn't here anymore. Now it's Baku. And TTT pushing a lot of this moment. Found the corridor. Somebody wanted to work at somebody, but it didn't work. Ooh, Wayne killed Daniel in the building. I didn't notice yeah. that. Where are the first five minutes gone, Nick? Holy shit, that's so fast. It's action packed, that's it. It is slow but tactical and it is PvP worthy. So Ooh, Beckett. Wolfenstein still alive. Obasto still alive. Saving Wolfenstein. Yep, yep. Nenard is Nenard is there though. Nenard is there. I I lost him. Do they know that Nenard is there? That Jesus is on that angle and Ingari is just running up basically. So both teams are showing a lot of pressure at this moment. 
Wang yeah. holding. Oh, Wang died. Baku's still there, though. Spooky going around. Wolfenstein seems to go a little more to the middle so that he can control that road, maybe? And he's looking backwards. And I don't know. He switched sides. Inari got called out. Wolfenstein on his rear. Inari got called out. He doesn't look the right straight way. Spooky getting didn't get him. Daniel. Still on the Daniel rocks. again. Oh, Buster died there, but Okido is there for uh, backing up. Fantastic War needs to keep their spawn. They're calm. And it's hard to keep your calm if you're getting killed right and left. But there's Okido, L1. Got him. Daniel and Baku. They don't care about Nanart. They keep running uh, past him. Nanart waiting for friendlies to uh, help him out. But the friendlies can't get into uh, the enemy area. Yeah. One guy of TTT on the blue flag. Or the red flag. And one guy Daniel. from Fantastic War on the blue flag. And now he comes. L1 is in. Coming in. Nanot is going for it, it seems like. Daniel is, Daniel is killed. And he was Wolverstein crushing around to help them out. The Chisa is holding it. Oh, good job. Good job, it was the first real attempt to uh, flag touch there. L1 is still alive though. Do they know? I think they know because Okido did call him out. But do they know where he is? Now they know. And Spooky in the meantime. Daniel's still there alive though. What? Daniel's alive? Yup. I see him moving. Daniel killed Baku. What? In the meantime, okay. we missed a fantastic war. In a complete fallback. Spooky and Daniel. And L1, L1. L1 going to strive to do for it, I think. Both teams having a lot of fighting on both sides. I can't get oh, everything yeah. in, I think. Spooky. Daniel died. Daniel died. Spooky is still alive, though. L1 is also still alive. L1 being annoying. Spooky still alive. L1. And the Chisha is just not moving away from that flag. Not moving away. L1 knows where she is probably. But he... Oh, the building gets blown up almost. And Spooky died. Dead. Oh no, Spooky's not dead. Spooky's still alive. What? Okay. So, and now he gets rushed in by... Uh, <laughs> Did he throw that nade? No. Coming. Th that's what I like to see. Nether yeah. pre firing around the corner and Spooky sitting there pre firing around the corner. But Fantastic War has an, an awful time at the moment. Really getting pushed back. Daniel almost winning. Yes, winning that engagement. Okido still alive. Daniel still alive. Did Daniel see other one? No, I don't think so. Baku changed position and Daniel was just going in. He thinks, fuck this shit, I'm going in. You need to find out. Does he, he gets it, he gets the flag yes. touch. <laughs> he gets Whoa. the flag touch. That was a Hail Mary run by Daniel. Yep, well done by Daniel. First flag touch yeah, for TTT. Touch. Of course, we would see. 20 minutes left, where did the last 10 minutes go, Nick? Holy shit. I don't know. Oh, it's, it's a lot of action. It's oh, yeah, a lot it of is. action. El Basto. The pressure on both flag spots is high. El Basto knows where Baku is, 100%. He should have been called out. He waits. He waits. El one is... Co El Basto knows that Baku could, could have switched position, but... That's Isa's killing uh, the L1 there. I think she should change positions though, because now they uh, they know where he is. Back it there. Back it. Baku and Wong. Back it. Okido coming for the backup. Inari still alive at the enemy flag. They don't know where El Bosto is. 
And they kill almost kill each other there. Almost, yeah. Wolfenstein. Okay, don't kill. Kill. And uh, in a re died. Oh, that was. Uh, the one is coming. ETT playing oh. really, really carefully. They don't want to uh, let this slip out of their hands. Trying to get control. Wang on the 50 line though, killing Daniel. Fantastic War having more people around their flag going in one by one. And TTT is trying to take control. Seems like it's working. Nanner died by Spocky. L1 poofing, pushing up. Okido killing Beckert. Okido kill Beckert. So it's only Baku now on the spot. Oh, uh oh, Baku on the spot. And this is what I mean. Now it's two versus one. He knows where he is. What are you doing? Take the chance, take the chance, take the chance. Oh, he gets him! El Busto, it's oh, open! Oh, the grenade! They just want a grenade, Nick! Yup, and it's a second flag touch. Holy! <laughs> and there goes El Busto, waited for the right moment and just got in. And he's running back with it. Will this be your black flag score? And we've heard 16AA say it. Blue, it's a blue side uh, focused map. If they can hold this uh, on uh, Fantastic War or uh, TTT, yeah. then. Uh, but Wang is waiting. Wang is waiting and Illu1 waiting too. And Spooky having a great time on that right hand side. Wolfenstein there though. Getting killed by Illu1. Are they going to capture. Wang, they're both capturing or they're both uh, waiting. They don't know what's was... waiting. The muscle's waiting with the flex. <gasps> Wang! <gasps> Okido is coming in. Beckard, but Beckard is there. If you can hear me clicking on stream, I'm trying to click on a, a moving a moving guy and I can't get him into. El Busto is just waiting. They, yeah, this is going to be the waiting uh, waiting game. We saw a waiting game last. Oh, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> L1. Okay. Oh, the L1 building. Is they want that building destroyed. Only Beckett is in the way between the flag and El Busto. And Beckett is holding. So El Busto will wait. Daniel's yeah, still alive there. Wait, yeah. Killing Wang. Do you, killing Nenard. Remember last cup we got a, a waiting game where for 15 minutes both sides uh, camped with the enemy flag. Yep. That was uh, horrible. Beckett and Finn, uh, Inari now moving up. Beckett holding and it's smart eh? it's I don't yeah. I like I wouldn't run as well to be honest I wouldn't run as well you know there is a guy still waiting why would you run why would you risk it risk the the risk the flex score basically and they need to clear out Daniel there Baku is coming upstairs though and they got him hey Basso how long will you wait? That's the question. Not anymore, I guess. But it looks like Beckard will find him. Or will it be the truck? No, he doesn't get him! He gets oh. away with it! Spooky just spraying it. Baku, uh, Beckett trying to intercept, but doesn't, is not on time anymore. Holy fuck! <laughs> He didn't get it. Oh, oh, oh. Holy fuck, Nick. Fantastic War needs to... 15 minutes and we see multiple action... Action packed attacks. Yep, and Inari attacks. is mad. Inari killing three there from TTT. Fantastic oh, War can push through, but Wolfenstein is there. Moving party always loses, they say. And it is. With that nade. Oh no, it's the pixel, of course. Or you will die. <laughs> or you will die. L1 still on there. Nanart Ooh. is uh, still sniffing on the flag. Oh, Nanart is there as well. I Nenart, didn't even yeah. know uh, or notice him. Hello, one killing one. Spooky and Wang. A lot of like shifting between up, down, middle, up, down, middle. 
or at least it's more yeah. middle and up in this case but they switch a lot around uh, around with the players like it's really dynamic when losing that engagement then it's almost yeah. dying they know where daniel is they know where Daniel is then art and that no that's he's us and yeah 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 oh she defends it but now look at this fantastic war with inari and wang both in the middle wolverstein no doesn't care goes further okido needs to clean it up wolverstein coming back and no they were contact so it's two versus two okido running two oh buster running through 14 minutes left 14 minutes left Inari killing Wolverstein, nice kill there. Daniel though, Wang. Do they know he's there? Wolverstein or Okuido with the uh, backup. And as well, maybe killing up L1. El Busto killing Beckert. And now suddenly uh, TTT has an all open field. The only thing. Oh, yeah. Remember again, Nedert comes back. Nedert securing the long street. And Okuido slips through. I know Fantastic War. Fantastic War is this kind of type of clan that can switch around their tactics quite easily and say, okay, this is not working, let's try this. So I'm really curious to see. We're halfway to battle. This I is what would I mean. Love to, I would love to hear some of the, uh, 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 the in game voice now. Uh, both teams, like, yeah. They if they're screaming or chill or, you know. I, I think it. I think. I think there, this moment there's pretty chill, but I think you can feel the tension, basically. Oh, yeah. I really think you can feel the tension. And Every, Nick, what yeah. we see here is PTT upped their, their shooting game from the last Pro Cup. Yes, they did, especially. Yeah. It is, uh, well, like, like I said... People like Spocky, people like Spocky, they're, uh, yeah, now have their finger on the trigger, basically. Yep, yep, yep. I, like I said, uh, last tournament, uh, Fantastic War won on Storage, and I still say it, Storage is a PvP map, heavy map. Well, in a re-skill Spocky there, Okido did see him, and the one in the crossfire gets killed by Elbesto. Um, so, it's a PvP heavy map, and this map just suits TTT more. Oh, so, yes. uh, it shoots their game style, basically. I'm not approving the game style, but we saw it with 16 day A. Really slow play, not the best, but the one. Nick, the one against Nick, ABC. You know what? They need. They don't need your improvement. Winning the game. <laughs> it's all about that medal today. Uh, <laughs> yes. It's the first. It will be the first medal if they win this. But I'm not going to cast the cost. This El Busto on the side. Now Daniel El Busto and Baku in a fight gets killed by El Busto. The flag is open. L1 coming around. What? There's a little bit of panic. There's a little bit of panic. Yep, Okido. Back it on the fat backup though. Should kill Okido. But they all should know where he is. He's reloading. Nice Nate. Nice Nate. And now you go for the flag touch. Oh, the backup Nate. Ooh, well oh, run by Daniel, Daniel though. Daniel, to and look at, the flag. look at Wolfenstein's angle there in that middle house. Oh, no, fuck. That's that but in the meantime, and the uh, enemy flag or the blue flag also things happen because Inari is still there. Nedert is still alive, I think. I see things moving. Yes, he is. And he's dead by Spocky, healing up. 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Friendly fire by Fantastic Boy again. Fantastic War need to keep their calm, Calm down. up their calm game. Down. Communication. Maybe switch through a little bit. And, and uh, team up more. Team up more for getting a push with two or three people. Yep. Wayne getting killed there by Crossfire. L1 coming up. The, the refrag. The refrag Crossfire from both teams are really strong. This game. Yeah, yeah, it's like That's what I like to see. You see it in the Pro Cup as well. Everybody covers everybody. And that's what you want. If you get into the flag area and there's still a flag defender, one guy goes in, he gets shot, and you pre-fire the corner where he gets shot from. That's how you win this game. That's yeah. how you uh, you get this. And like what you said, more team play from Fantastic War needs to take place because 
at this moment, they're just going in one by one. And while I say that, I see Nenard sitting on the other side. Every time Nenard gets in that flag area, but that Jesus is in between them. But it's still a risky thing with only one flag defender. If and they are, they are in lead and only one flag defender. That's, that's a really risky take. But look at the middle TTT. control TTT now has. Daniel yeah. in a five fight with Wang. Kills in Arido. Wang gets uh, Daniel. Like, if Denner gets the Jesus, he gets a touch. That's it, you know? And then he needs to get back between all the TTT guys that are uh, in front now. But it's hard. But L1 is there to, but to back him up. El Basto. Baku sitting on the same position. Okido there as well. Spooky there as well. Everybody's there. Somebody's Inari, throwing something. Inari supporting Baku, maybe. That nade. Great, great, great grenade. Nice, nice pre nade on the uh, destroyed building. Killing Inari and with the train, but it's because he could touch no Baku. Baku is in the team. Oh, but got nice. called out and Spocky's hunting for him. Nenard yeah. killed Daniel. So they know Nenard is around. Spooky going so, in. Do we see the rocket launcher against the Spooky. building? Spooky! Spooky! What? Spooky? <laughs> Wang oh. did see... I see Wang passing by. I thought he didn't see him, but he did see him. So, uh, yeah. Beckett's still alive with uh, Wolfenstein. And not still alive? Yeah, still alive. Filling in there uh, in his new home, basically. Maybe Daniel is on the hunt. And not no. Oh, nice, nice uh, pre-fire against Daniel from Nana. But one rocket at the house. The house will be done. Maybe one of TDT should get the rocket launcher. Uh, yeah, nuke that house basically. Yeah, but does he know that he sees in there? That's my real question. I don't think she, Daniel, he knows. Daniel get killed by uh, by uh, close quarter combat in also yeah I think they know. Daniel is back again for re re revenge. Inari pushes him. Oh what a double kill there! Here's Spooky re uh, uh, healing, and uh, El Busto run by. Okido killing uh, Wang there, but uh, suddenly a lot of pressure from Fantastic War. But Nenart gets killed Nenart by says, Daniel. But but Inari, Inari is... Do, do Inari have support? Yeah, Beckett on the other side Beckett, of the map. Yeah, other side, yeah. <laughs> but he yes. is on a nasty four, position. Four TDT. Four, four TDT. But Daniel, Daniel... Ooh, Daniel takes no prisoners again. <laughs> did here probably there is somebody on the other side. And uh, they try to uh, help that. And uh, was there on exactly the same moment. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, six oh. minutes, six minutes. Okie go there with Wang. And Art. It seems like they're uh, trying to push a little bit more with uh, the south side of the. The road, basically. I see Inari and Nenard now uh, both moving there. And one uh, getting uh, Daniel there. And Wolfenstein completely to a different position as well. But gets killed by Nenard. And suddenly, Fantastic War is here. Knocking on your door. Four guys, strong. That Jesus, only one between them and a flag capture. Thinks he's in the building. Isn't. Gets Wang, Inari's still alive, there's still four. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. That Jesus is down. Daniel's still there, Inari's going for the capture. El Busto waiting for the guy to come back. L1. Inari's dead. dead. Yeah, but L1 is still there. L1 can save But it. El Busto is there to wait them up. Okido not caring, just running through. Da -da 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 -da. We'll get killed, but El Busto moving on the wrong moment. Wolverstein there, though. Shoot, hold that angle. Just hold that angle. Yep, yeah, yeah. Well done. Well defended oh, nice by shot. TTT. Good communication. Good communication is key. 
Spooky and Nenard having a long range fight and uh, Spooky losing that. It's fantastic war suddenly uh, presence in the battle in the last moments. Yeah, four minutes, uh, 20 seconds. So one flag touch and one flag capture will tie up the game. Yeah, if they can, if they capture it now or touch it now or bring it back there, even I don't know even what the score is like. Kills a little bit more by TDT, but not that much. It's a tight battle, and I have a feeling that Fantastic War suddenly becomes a little bit more angry, frustrated, maybe you can call it. Yeah. And uh, it seems like they're pushing way more than yeah. Inari in killing Daniel there. And moving up, El Busto, Inari needs to heal. Then are there. Okido did hear the call. Inari is still behind me. Okido almost hitting no shots, but uh, did at the end. L1 passing him. Did hear something. Maybe one more defender for TDT would, would help now to secure the uh, last three minutes. Wolfenstein, Okido, Okido saw L1 running there, called him out, he's coming in the middle, and Wolfenstein hold that building, really well defended there, complete halt by uh, TTT, Wang holding the middle, 3 minutes, 3 minutes, first half 3 minutes. Wang holding there. Nice positioning. Obasto and killing. Beckett. And, Sp and Spocky is holding up the is it the 50 line? I mean almost 50 line. But yeah. holding up the, the left and right for the both streets. Okido going forward, killing one by one. It's Spocky. Spocky had this uh, game on the uh, on volume 2000 to hear everybody basically. <laughs> Look at that. Winning that engagement, completely what? opening the flank again. Oh, okay, yeah, fuck it. Should acknowledge that. Okido acknowledged that as le at least. He's already on the front. Spocky now coming house by house. Two minutes, two minutes, two minute warning. Obasto oh, fighting that. Okido holding that angle correctly. Fantastic Ward pushed back in the, to the flag area. They have five people from uh, DTT, make that four, because NL1 uh, killed one. Uh, one minute 30. Can they get a last touch in? Baku changing angles though. Knows where he is. Okido killing L1. Inari still alive. Okay, dead. Obasto. One minute. Nice nade from Daniel to open up the tank. They know where El Busto is, and El Busto is just waiting for some cover. If he goes for it, if Daniel knew, if he go for it. <laughs> 30 seconds. Are they going to try one more time? Ooh, L1. That never the rocket by, by Wolfenstein. Rocket. What a play. <laughs> what a play. Any attack on the outside? No. Oh. What a play. 20 seconds. Oh, Abasto, last chance. Maybe he get a lucky kill against Baku and then running for the flag. He's go just going to try it. Why not? He gets it. He gets what? it. <laughs> he gets it. Holy what the fuck? Wow. Why Why wouldn't you try it, basically? That's that's and, it. And they and win. Sonic, he know exactly where Baku was and what angle Baku can't, cannot support from up there. Oh, what a plug. Fuck it. Holy shit. One flag score for tactical training team and three yeah. flag touches and only one flag touch for Fantastic War. Oh yeah. It was close, it was really close. But Fantastic War couldn't get it in. I see three blue players on the podium.
Oh, that yeah. means that El Basto, Okido, and Daniel all there. The testing bar a little bit lacking. I can kill that, I see. They should be doing better, though. I think they're too... Uh, how you say that? Too... Uh... Too panicky, maybe. No. More like uh, they, they, they pl want to play fast, and it doesn't work for them at this moment, you know? Yeah, so... They, they want to up up pressure but it didn't work against the TTT the, yeah and uh, TTT is really playing really slowly taking angles taking things you know so they they should turn around their game basically but it can go all the way it's not uh, it's by far not over yet oh uh, fantastic war coming closer and there were some moments that I uh, pinch my fucking cheeks together because uh, they were coming <laughs> close to the flag and you see Nenard if Nenard kills uh, the yeah. then uh, then it's uh, then 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 he can get the, the flag basically and that's something uh, oh I'm not a, I'm not in uh, blue four <laughs> so so really... Costa against the, the winners is the next match right that's that will the, not the, be the, the, the no match. that that will we we will have Timo as flag defender nobody will win that I needed to do a quick sip because I'm um, my voice is going backwards with all this shouting. Um, so ESM ready. Is this this it can go all the way? I'm 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 speechless basically. TTT can finish this in round two, but like I said, 16 AA said it as well. It's a blue four side heavy map. Is TTT? able to defend against Fantastic War on the blue side, basically. We will see. That's something I want to see. That Jesus didn't move a lot of positions. We didn't see the MLG Hawk place, the Hawk house, sadly, sadly enough. And it was TTT first doing that. But uh, yeah, not uh, not having this. Maybe they didn't need it. They, they, they didn't need it. So the game started for us. Um, I'm going to switch us in with my dank new animations. There we go. TTT on red side and Fantastic War on blue side. Oh, yeah. Any change in the players? Uh, it didn't work. There we go. Again. Oh. You I are need back to... in the Packard and T No, no changes. No changes. Let's see if we see the rocket launcher. Didn't saw that last time. And Nick, I must say, uh, uh, not that much, uh, uh, not that much terraforming. No, I expected more from TTT. Okay, okay. Well, let's see if that uh, fantastic war does. Romet, we see four and one fives, and the sting in the P90, and I think the TTT side is also the same as the last time. It looks like it, yeah. All the TTT almost, or at least half of the TTP players, uh, all wear sunglasses. Maybe that's it. The sun is in your face, <laughs> you know. Okay, here we go. Round two. That's that's, that's the first rule. Look cool. <laughs> Look cool. Can Fantastic War turn this Some around? Range. Line 60 AA did in the other game. Can they do this? Can they go for this beautiful medal, MVP award? Everything that you come, or is TTT finally coming uh, along terms and uh, is trying, instantly tries to blow up that building and map control? Packet getting killed by El Basto, Okido getting caught up by LA1. Then you heard the shots coming around, should see him and kills him. Wang should have heard El ba oh, Daniel's shot, but doesn't. Runs past him, and Baku as the vendor. Spocky and Wolfenstein holding that uh, north or south angle. Daniel just running for it, basically. Throws in a nade, but it's going too far. It won't kill Baku. Ooh, Daniel did oh. try. He did try. And El Busso, El Busso was up. there. The pressure is up against, uh, uh, against Fantastic War. 
I think that uh, Oba, the, I think that TTT maybe thinks just get as much flex touches as we can, so that we are at least in front if they get uh, a flex score. You know, what yeah. is a decent, uh, decent thought? And we will see that mostly. We see that uh, in this kind of matches, it will go around in flex touches. Okido getting killed by L1. One thing instantly surprises me is that fantastic war is playing way more slowlier than they did before wang holding that gas station l1 and beckett hold, like going from house to house and you're getting killed by l1 with el busto there for the trade and i think wolverstein is in this house so that he can see indeed the crossover so nobody from the south can basically come past him if he looks that way and then it doesn't shoot him yeah this is what i mean but he doesn't see him and then it sees him they get getting killed though and wang inari and nanart spooky there though complete hold it stop the push on the side Where's the hype? Uh, is the hype for TTT? Yeah, the hype is for yeah, TTT. Yeah, hype is exploding in the chat. I, uh, I, I, expect, I expected uh, TTT all being in the uh, German cast, so welcome to the English cast with your only well TTT player, Schmidtler. Wang is there though. Wang is in the house. Doesn't get killed by Wolverstein at the end. Inari still alive, L1 still alive. They are hungry. Five minutes into the game. Wolfstein helping defend. Okido pushing up. I'm missing TTT players. Two died there. Spooky moving up in a reholding angle. L1. Just getting fired from three directions. And Wolfstein not taking any measures. Flushing him out with the rocket. <laughs> what a play. Oh, the friendly fire by Wolfenstein. Oh. Needs to heal though. Okido still on the front. Kills Wang. Oh. Wolfenstein gets killed by Nate. Good Be grenade by Nanart. But Spocky's there. Oh, Spocky, Inari and Nanart indeed. Inari's going around though. Yeah, well done by Spocky. Just keeping tight. Oh, Beckett is still alive. Daniel and Okido are uh, all the way up the flag. Well, Beckett is on their flag. If they kill Wang, that's one. Now only Baku is left. I keep an eye on the red flag when you keep back. Beckett. Becker didn't get it, but TTT Okido gets it, kills Baku, runs away. Do we have someone that can die? Like Nenad is there to. Uh, maybe Nenad is still him, there, yeah. But he's on the wrong side. See. Yeah, Daniel did die though. I think Five Nenad. Is... In. Yep. And I think Nenad is going to lay down on this road. Waiting for Okido to switch. And this is what I mean. Nenard. That's way too much, mate. No! Oh, oh killing Nenard with L1. L1 is coming up. Well done. And a Wang. Wang for the return. Wang for the return. Needs to hurry up, though. Gets it. Oh, close, one. close, close one. one, close one indeed. Ah, that's one more flag touch. Well defended by uh, Fantastic War there, waiting oh, yeah. for the for the guys, instantly putting pressure up because here are Inari and Beckert. Spocky did hear him. Inari getting killed by Daniel. Or oh, wait, Daniel getting killed by Inari, sorry. ETT needs to defense. 
I think uh, Fantastic War smells some opportunities because they are running in quite hard. Beckett and Inari holding, waiting for backups. And one just running through the middle. Oh, the one gets him. Spocky gets Nanart. Suddenly we see a complete push. Daniel gets down by. Uh... We have Inari and L1. El Basto killing uh, Inari. And L1, it's Holbert. Suddenly they, they run up. There were four, and suddenly you see the whole field moving. All the field from Fantastic War is like pushing and well defended, well read by TTT there, holding that field on their flag, just waiting for them to push, kill, yeah. killing everybody, almost not losing anybody, I think. Oh, 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 El Busto. Fantastic War holding, do, doing exactly the same what TTT did earlier, just yeah. waiting. Daniel coming around the corner, doesn't win that. El Basto, Beckett, Beckett winning. Counter push, Okido killing him, Spocky still on a nice position. Inari changed positions to the middle, was in, uh, was in the north, or was in uh, yeah, the south, but now he's in the middle. Maybe they think the middle is more strong. Okido moving up. Beckett still alive. Yup. It doesn't win that fight. Wang and Wolfenstein. If they know they were watching each other the whole time. Look at this. <laughs> so close yet so far. Spocky killing Nenard in the back <laughs> background. Then he will pushing up. Seems like Danny always as well changed position more to the south as well. Like, and look, Nick, they only, Ooh, only with one defender. I missed it. I missed it. Oh. I missed uh, Wolverstein's uh, drop uh, shot. <laughs> I saw it happening and tried to turn into it, but I missed it. Danny all spooky, killing in a there. Fantastic War a little bit more back now. 20 minutes. So, what do you think, Nick? Will, will TDT hold up the pressure, maybe? Get the flex score, and when Fantastic War will get the flex score, they will then uh, yeah, there... mix up mix up the concrete and we'll secure the win on the flag touches i think in the last 50 minutes we will see uh baku rushing with them as well 100 percent. they have nothing to lose anyway you know That's correct yeah so uh i i have the feeling it's still possible for fantastic war it is 100 they they are really yes. having nice pushes the communication is great but ttt is just holding more and more angles what makes it harder this is what i mean Spocky almost killing Wang there as well. I think they ki he killed it and then kills Nenard in the meantime, getting kills. It's completely opened up now. The only thing between them is Baku. And one died as well. Acknowledge your push. Oh, I think uh, I thought that the uh, guy here, whoever that was, uh, didn't uh, die, but he did die. And Baku died as well. So, flag is open. TTT is pushing. Fantastic War just needs to, like, get their asses. They, 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 of course, you're behind, and that's that's hard. But you, you need to know how. You need to keep playing how you play, and I think how they played in the first, like in the first half, basically, uh, in the first 15 minutes, was their best. And now they're losing because they go away from how they normally play. Maybe because of panic. Maybe because that's the be, be that they're too far behind. Daniel getting killed almost. Daniel pre-firing that corner does get a touch, goes away with it again, but can't get out of the building. Oh, Nenard getting spooky. 
Oh. Really well played by Daniel there. Did yeah. yeah, no, really, I, I'm impressed by that. He came into the area, he got in a fight with L1, L1 retreated, and Daniel saw his clean ch his chance just to go for the flag. Like, fuck, fuck L1 and just get the texture in. Wolfenstein holding that angle, and then he and there, <laughs> and he lying down. Back at killing Oki though. And a gunning rocket. Back at. Suddenly we see a little bit of a push from the Plastic War. Three down, four down. That's only the Chisas and they notice it. They smell blood. They smell the flag. It's a smelly flag. And suddenly the Chisas can only hear steps. As he gets killed, this is open. They go for it. And they get yeah. away with it. They get away with it. Nobody there to intercept? No. Really and well. And Vasto, maybe. Daniel. Nenard not hitting anything. Wang defending him against Spocky. Nenard tracking the other complete other side. Maybe they think that Elbisto is there and he can hold, but look at that angle. That El Basto is holding. He will see him. He doesn't get him. He does oh. get him. Oh. Ooh. Okay, and now L1. L1 on the run. L1 on the run. El Basto is run. Don't shoot your teammates. Everybody's panicking. Oh, and Spocky and Daniel in the middle. Crossfire. But Every Inari. Inari. Inari is there. And uh, Beckert is laying down. Wolfenstein coming up. Want to return that flag. Doesn't want to get him. Inari. Inari should notice that there's somebody on the other side. Doesn't get him. No. Inari. Oh. And Wolfenstein oh. returns it. Holy shit. That was the oh. chance. Well played by El Basto holding that line. I thought that Inari would have called up. Or that somebody have called up. But Wolfenstein was going to the other side. Why would you... Not check that angle. Ugh. And that's why, Nick, sorry, I must say again, that's why storage is a horrible map. Because when you got the flag, it's almost impossible to get caught off guard when moving back. So on, on this map, you need to achieve two things to get the flag. Mm -hmm. Push through, kill the enemy defender, get the flag, that's the first thing. And the... the, the the second thing is, get your communication right and plan the route for getting the flag back. Yep. And in on storage, you only need, uh, okay, just get the push through and then you are basically free to get back. So, and yep. that's why storage is more, I would say, boring to watch. But I mean, holy fuck, this is the final. Yeah, it almost got back, TTT. Instantly trying to knew where the flag was going, try to defend it, but now the TTT is back. TTT and also smells blood. Wants to counter push Okido and El Bosto there. Wolfenstein following up. In but the still meanwhile, only one defender. Only. Inari, Inari, Inari coming sneaky like, sneaky beaky like. Goes to the last position where Jesus was. El Bosto gets killed. Wang doesn't know where Okido is. Fantastic War a little bit hold it back. Okido still alive. Okido yeah. causing havoc behind the enemy lines. And meanwhile, Inari waiting for Nenar to push up. Okido trying to spawn camp. I think they know. I hope they know. And otherwise they will find out really quickly. So I'm just going to do it for good measures because... Wolfenstein, nice okay. shot by Beckett there. Now Inari is outed. Oh. Now Inari is outed. And go for the run, I guess. Inari getting killed. No, 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 no. Inari is alive. Inari is alive. They're not going in. Tries to find where Jesus is. Somebody threw a nade. I don't know where. 
to the, uh, to the Inari with a quick headshot on the Chisas. They know the defender is down. They easily go. I miss Okido. Okido. In, in the other side. Inari, Nana running back. Gets shot by uh, El Busto. Well defended. Daniel running away though. Beckett in there. So two flags. Inari still alive. They know Inari is still alive. El Busto. Nobody Inari to. Inari had the flag. No. Nope. But he's killing a lot. And he gets killed. And Daniel gets killed too. as well. Notice the opening. A lot happening in a few seconds. Oh yeah. Two sides. I think Wayne can secure the flag back. That's good. Spooky. That's good for Fennigan's war. Guy, this, is what, I, this is what we like to see, Smidler. You can yeah. defend the flag. You don't return the flag. Spooky looking. Oh. Spooky. Why? Maybe it was too open or they, they fell away. But yeah. Normally you let the flag there when you can... Fantastic when you can secure it, then... Uh, Fantastic one, not leaving it with this though. They smell blood. They know they can get it. Perfectly played by Inari and Nenard there. 100%. Oh, yeah. Wayne, Wayne dying. Killed by Spocky. L1 as well by El Basto. Nenard now minutes, running up. 12 minutes. Ooh, a little bit of a panic there. So we got three flag touches by. Uh, yeah, I wanted to. to, to Touches by Fantastic War. I wanted to TDT. say that because uh, that can maybe do some confusion. Uh, so the round one scoring on the right here, so is uh, from the teams from round one. So blue was first tactical training team. It can be a little bit uh, weird. The tactical training team had three flag touches and one flag score in round one. What will give them now six flag touches and one flag score in total, and then we have. Fantastic War had only one flag touch, and they need. They are three uh, now. Uh, they are yeah, four now. Four now, yeah, I think. Four. And, 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 and no, three. Three, three. 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 Yeah. So they need at so. least a flag score or two flag scores to, to turn this around. Or a shit ton of flag touches and a flag score. And TTT. 11 about minutes. To... 11 minutes. It can happen. We saw it. We saw it in so. seconds. We it's... saw losing, losing a game in two minutes uh, by. Uh, like 5-0 in two minutes. That's it, uh, 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 in in um, five black touches in five minutes. Uh, it needs to minutes, go yeah. really, really weird uh, yeah. to happen. But yes, it can still happen. Creation from Daniel the, and El Basto going forward. Four flag defenders now from Fantastic War. I get it back. Two flag defenders. <laughs> but Illo one on the run. Refiring that corner. Daniel free firing good. Ah, Baku! Baku, Baku, well good job, funded. Baku. Looking at the kill. Uh, a little bit more for TTT, but not, not that much. So they switch it around a little bit now. Because... Oh no, wait! Uh, no, it was that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was, uh, that was way. away. 10 minutes left, Nick, 10 minutes. I can I can hear the anxiousness in her Smithless voice. Oh, I <laughs> he really wants it, and uh, I can I can understand. TTT has been uh, um, has been in the ESM Cup for a long time. They did a lot for ESM as well. They they even had two two teams, and this is the second team. And the second team just barely lost less time against the same Fantastic War. And now he doesn't want to acknowledge it, or he doesn't want to uh, happen it again. And let's as... focus on the game, Nick. And let's focus on the game. No, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want me to curse it. I won't curse it for you. Uh -huh. It can go all the ways. It's really tight against tight. And you see, Fantastic War is a little bit doing the same thing like uh, TTT is now doing, trying to get control of the flag area, pushing in together. And one killing Beckett and Okido there. Daniel dies there. That's a lot of dead people. Wolverstein there's there. That opens it. Ooh. It's Jesus against three. No support. They're going to set up the train train. It's happening. Beckett is moving up. No capture. That Jesus not getting it. Wang did die though. I don't know where, but he did die. Oh, he does I'm still walking 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 yeah. Beckett trying to hold. El Basto knows where he is. Nana died. Beckett is the only one left. Inari as well. Inari. Okay, no. and okay, Beckett. 
Daniel. Daniel dead? Daniel dead. Okay, El Busto. El Busto. Oh, El Busto. Wall, wall well defended by El Busto. Oh, holy fuck. Oh. Eight minutes. So much coordinates here. And again, a really great Bruce by Fantastic Warren. In the meantime, we see Spooky sitting on the other side, waiting for his opportunity. Eight minutes left. Fantastic War putting up the pressure. They know it's now or never, basically. And we're coming in. I need to say Fantastic War has the best pushes from the game. In my opinion. But TTT the best, is... The best def pushes, yeah. Yeah, but TTT is defending really, really good against them. For the panic that you can cause, basically, with so many players sitting there, they can... Fantastic War can't finish it because TTT is for is keeping calm basically. They're keeping calm, they know where the people are, and they flush them out, even if that Jesus is not there. Is good. Wang from, there. From Fantastic War, I think Wang is waiting for support. That would be Illa yeah. is flanking, maybe. Illa one is trying to set up the spawn camp. That's something that I didn't see a lot uh, happening now. Daniel knows that uh, Wang is there. Comes up. Uh, what? Spooky! I missed it. Spooky on the run back. Bill. C in a re. Corners, 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 Spooky. Corners, corners. Wang died. L1 still alive. L1 and Nenard. Both on the safe side. Beckert in a fight, but in a re there to follow up. Kills him. Kills the flag defender. That Jesus has been known, but Nenard needs to heal. Inari killing three there, will defend it by Inari. Can Nenard, Nenard should know that he sees on the left. He doesn't. Oh, fantastic war again. A great, great push by them, but couldn't finish yeah. it. And as well by, uh, well defended by a, a fantastic war. Inari moving back to the middle, killing the flag defender. I couldn't get it in, uh, in the cam really quickly, but... Uh, Looked really good. Inari is mad. Five minutes to go. Six minutes? Yeah, for me it's five minutes. Oh, oh, oh. We need to add the real, the real countdown and the... Yeah. Fix this. Fix that, Flash. Frank should know where Wolfstein is. And pre-fires him around the corner. Beckert in El Basto. Okie doke, kills Wang. Back there for the backup. L1 as well there. Tries to shoot him. Back it shoots back him up. Back it shoot back him up. Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> L1. Says, no. Oh, L1. Nice. Yeah, but there's a nade there. Then he will run into the nade. Oh no, he threw into the, uh, into the construction building. Ooh, Daniel killing Beckert. Then out to Spocky. In a re-running up. What a tight match. Fantastic War has been training so much. Nice rocket. Didn't kill anything. Nanard on the far flank. Four minutes. Five minutes now. It is. Can they turn this around? Nanard. And Spooky. Spooky's there. Yep. Save the day. L1 killing his blood best though. Beckett knows where he is. Kills him. Really tight match still. Kills uh, only seven kills apart from each other. So uh, really going with each other. Nice firefight at the church. Kills is almost even. Kills is almost even. That's Wolfstein holding. Getting, getting <laughs> so many shots him in. Spooky's still alive. Inari should great shot him. Oh, he's already dead. Inari pushing up. One on the far flank.
you look at Baku, you see the great feature from Armor 3 to switch shoulders. In the meantime, we heard Daniel shooting each other. Yeah, Baku is re using that a lot. I've seen that. I've seen that a lot by him. Back at back getting killed by uh, Inari still. Inari is mad. Inari is mad. But is he mad enough to kill Spocky as well? He is. Here he comes. Three minutes. Can he start a pain train? Can he go the round? Wolfenstein to intercept Wang there. It's looking good for TTT. Surely but slowly. In a that, re pre that pre fire from Inari maybe gave him away, of course. Oh, yeah. Daniel already running towards him. Wolfstein not carrying. Elbusto holding, see? Yeah, supporting that Jesus. Yep. Oh, so, oh. Oh, okay. Put out. Ho <laughs> Daniel. Daniel. Getting no in a re on the. Uh, on the. Stairs, yeah. Stairs. Step stairs, obviously. And they're trying to hold the angle. They need to come from far. L1 getting killed by L1, uh, by Wolfenstein. Two minutes to go, I roughly say. Exactly two minutes. Can they turn this around? Nice nade going in, but it goes too far. Wang getting. TDT uh, suddenly starts to push a little bit. Albasto and Okido. How the. Adrenaline is flowing for both. Yeah, even for me, my heart is going to uh, pound. Basto, <sighs> Okido, Baku, and Inari. They but Mekat and, knows... and Wang and Sendat and Sarah, they are for support. Okido. Okay, how Okido survived that, we don't know. That nade, but it, it went out, it went out. Baku will get killed by the nade. I say it! <laughs> Wang okay. is still alive though. Oh, Wang defended oh, it. Oh, Wang, safe. Good save for Wang, not... Baku did not, acknowledge that the nade was away. in the building, but I thought it was going out there. L1 getting a little bit uh, anxious. One minute to go, 55 seconds, I need to say. Is it that the, after so many years, can we safely say it, Schmittler? Can I... Uh, maybe. Should I wait to 50 more, 40 more seconds until it says game over in my screen? Because here yep. comes Fantastic War, but Daniel is in between. Killed Wang in the meantime, and Wolves of uh, uh, Take the T is in a full defense. They know that Fantastic War is desperate. They know that they're going to rush. Oh yeah. It's 20 seconds left. Are I want. Getting their last oh. I want to see the hype in the chat for TTT. Because I think we can safely. <laughs> I Why think... is Eluan always shit talking in the stream? Holy fuck! <laughs> I uh, I think I can safely say it that uh, TTT finally won their first cup, isn't it? It is unbelievable, it looks like it. unbelievable, unfucking believable. G great. Holy fucking final. shit! Great final. Only one flex score between TTT and Fantastic War. Yeah. Only one flag. Or yeah, three flag touches, I think. But what a final. Oh yeah. What a final. Holy, holy, holy. I I, I am I'm speechless. So I'm go too. I'm going to get the Chisas in for uh, yeah. some interview. Oh yeah. <sighs> even I am nervous, like I am even shaking. <laughs> Can you imagine? Maybe. Oh, yes, the TTT flag. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it, but here he comes. <laughs> that's, a, that's the wrong animation, Nick. Do I know. the right animation. And he comes it. There he goes. <laughs> TTT. <laughs> GG! Oh. Oh, oh yeah. that's enough hype. I'm the commentator. You're enough hype, but you can be hyped. I was happy last time Fantastic War won. You can be happy that uh, um, a TTT won this time. And well deserved, really well played. I think they played uh, really strong Very good. TTT. Very good, yeah. They have definitely upped their game 100%.
And now yes. yeah. TTT is in has the medal. Unbelievable. Finally, after so many years. I think after a few, I think two, three years or so. Yeah, that's correct. 2020 so, was the other match against uh, Van der Sea. It is. Uh, GG, interview, bliss. And I also want Nefs. I want Nefs because Nefs. Uh, interview, please. He said okay, I think. Barbarian. No. Fs also want interview. Oh. Holy shit. I still, uh, I'm still, uh, I'm still, yeah, I'm still speechless. I can't say, yeah. I can't say more about that. It was a beautiful final. Oh yeah, it was. It is unbelievable. Um, I think uh, that Jesus is uh, talking to Flash Ranger, so I'm going to switch in Nevs. Nevs. Hello. 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 Did you watch? Of course. What did you find? What did? What were you things that you have to say? That I was wrong. <laughs> I gotta accept when I'm wrong. Um. It was fun. I think it came down to the TTD just being a bit more organized. Uh, Fantastic had their chances at the flag. Um, TTD defended the bell and uh, they just they just missed the icing on the cake. And TTD had their their chances. They used them well. The uh, 50 line defending was awesome. Yeah. And that won them the game. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. It's... Uh... It's easier than that, basically, what you say. They played really well. They uh, they they used the, the map correctly and uh, they won uh, um, they won on the points. Easy as that. They were the better group and they deserved it. Uh, I get it so much. I need to... Yes, after... Geez, uh, oh, no, wait. I can do L1 first. L1. I'm going to switch L1 in and I hope he yeah, doesn't do shit talk. Well, I'm here. Here it comes, L1. Hey! Hello. Hello. How are you yes. feeling? French flag here. <laughs> uh, the white flag, you know? Just waving it around. The white flag. Yeah, L1. Kicked out of the Magino line. So. Yeah. How do you feel? Uh, was it a hard battle? Oh, it was really tough battle, and I think that TTT shed in their uh, pockets too, because I guess it wasn't easy for e either side, but we, we clearly lost all of our occasions on the flag, we kept dying, and we lost a lot of one versus one, so I, uh... well, they, they fought better than us, that's all I can say. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's fair. You said it. I I need to yeah. say I find uh, I the communications you had with uh, with your team attacking the enemy flag was, in my opinion, the best. Only you couldn't finish it, and that was yeah. the sad thing. You had so many more nice pushes, but you couldn't finish it. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, well, we had problems with communications. Except when we were on the flag, because when we were all attacking the flag, we had good communication, as you said. But once we were on the flag, we were worried about that Jesus, and we were like, "Where is she? Where is she? Fuck! Where is she?" <laughs> and they had they, they they were defending with a lot of people, so we killed like two people, but still, where the fuck is that Jesus? So yeah, yeah. we had, and then someone been killed, and we can't trade off with that Jesus and another one get killed and then they are get respawned and chased us out of the flag. So, well, it was a fair battle, I guess. I mean, I'm, I, I'm obviously not happy with the results because we lost, but I'm happy that we didn't get steamrolled or something. It was really like, Tight. It was really tight, yes. yeah. Oh, and by the way, Nick, thanks for cursing us with your dream tonight. So, people <laughs> I did, are, are I like... Did, I did cast a curse them but, uh, with my yeah. dream. They were winning, but it was the dream. My dream was about that it was really tight, and it was really tight. So I'm, Oh, I'm... it was really tight, yeah. And <laughs> I, I'm a bit disappointed of my performance tonight. 
because I, I think I, I could have done better, but I panicked in the last game. And I, I want to, sh- to make a shout out to everyone of my team and our reserve guys for the training and the motivation and everything we had until then, until now. And uh, well, congrats to TDT because where we, we beat them last year 5 0. They beat us this year 1 0. I'm glad for them, you know. They deserved it. Yeah, they uh, they deserved it. Yeah, I'm not angry. I'm. Good. Hey. But some people in my team, <coughs> in Ari, are angry. But you know, <laughs> that's fine. Nah, Schmidtler. Yeah. Can you get God Jesus back, please? Because he left. Uh, yeah, I will try. Thank you, because that's the last interview that I want to do. And one, well, really well played. Oh, you... and uh, Niklas said that you he had planned uh, a screen for my my performance over the it's, tournament. Uh, yes, it's already <laughs> showed two times, and um, I I showed it at the beginning, so you can watch the stream. You will see your uh, your your performance. But I can I can to put it up one more time if you want. Here it comes. Well, no, no, it's not you. I I, I was wondering if you were, going, you were going to tell me what I did. Because oh. <laughs> I didn't see it. 1.5 kill deaths, flex scores two and a half, flex touches three, and uh, in total five flex scores for six flex touches. So uh, you have a decent stats there. Uh. Yeah, nice, good, good. All right. Okay, I'm going to switch you back. Thanks, uh, L1. Really well thanks. played, and you yeah. deserved it as well. Uh, Sad you couldn't uh, to... wait, finish it. Thanks to everyone at ESM, Flash Ranger, and everything. And well, thank you to. Well, fuck you, Nick, okay? Well, fuck you, and fuck Nate, <laughs> and fuck everyone else. Fuck the Germans. No, no, well, <laughs> no. no. Joking. Say sorry. Sorry to everyone, except That's Nate. what I wanted to hear. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Is he coming back? I'm, oh, she uh, is. Oh, she's uh, in stream two. She's in stream two. She's in, uh, in ah, the okay. other stream. Okay, okay, in ah. the German stream. They stole her they, from me. They stole they, her, yeah. They stole her from the ESM cast. And I have an angry girlfriend sitting on... No, I'm not an angry girlfriend. I said that I was done at 10 o'clock and it's now 50. Don't be angry. So um, I'm going to be uh, really tight. But yeah. That's it. I can... Yeah. I, I, I have more scores here, by the way. So uh, no, I don't have more scores, sadly. Let's see if Timo Cam is still up. No, Timo Cam is not up. <laughs> Wanted to check that. Oh. Uh, yeah, then we uh, will wait for 30 seconds or so, maybe. So for Jesus and. I think she's done. Um, no, she's not done. Somebody switched. <coughs> You're, so, yeah. You speak German. You can, uh, you can see if the FC is done. Uh, yeah, <sighs> but they, I will not join their, 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 their channel now. Did you write her? Uh, yes, I can. I mean, I I can do too. That's. Everybody wants an interview with everybody, but yeah, fantastic or uh, tactical training team winning their first medal. I think the yeah. whole chat from tactical training team will go mad now. Um, really well done. So um, yes. That's uh, I I I'm still speechless. It was a really great game, really well done. Really good final. Really good final, yeah. Well played by TTT. I'm I'm going to check what TTT. Uh, oh, only applause, applause, applause. Applause, yeah. Applause. <laughs> yeah, but, what, what, what we saw from both other teams, we saw good good communication from both teams, good team pushes, uh, when they are. Uh, Push uh, two or three together. Oh, I think the Jesus is ready. Can you? I can. Where is he? Stream three. And now he's Hello. one. Hello. Good evening, gentlemen. Now you need, Good to, <laughs> need to speak English after the Germans. How yeah. are you feeling? I just, I just said it. Um, we, we're like, yeah, you could say that over the moon. <laughs> 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 yes, definitely. That's that's the right expression to. It yeah. was it was not a simple game for you guys. Can you talk me through what you felt during the game after your first flag score and after the interception of the flag from Fantastic War, basically? Well, we stayed focused during the whole game. Um, 
there was a moment of relief after the first match mm-hmm. where we where okay that went okay but we knew the red uh, for our um feel the red side definitely is the harder one so we yeah it was open until the the last minute was running mm-hmm. because we we know fantastic borg is a yeah a strong a strong team mm-hmm. we we got that uh, to feel the last time we played and um so it yeah we you're still a little bit uh overwhelmed (laughs) Overwhelmed? (laughs) yes of course it's gonna take a moment to really realize now talking over it yeah it's uh yeah it's getting to my brain that we we took this one home and like we're really proud (laughs) yeah i think you can be really proud i said it to smittler as well you ttt has been in there for quite a long time in the esm community they've been through a lot they tried a lot couldn't get the medal home earlier but now you are the first team the ttt2 team even yes to bring it home so you should be really proud for yourself and for ttt as well basically the smile in my face says it <laughs> <laughs> we can we can show the smile in your face but i can i can yeah. understand yeah. um anything that you want to add anything that we want to say like i'm i'm, I'm speechless as well i don't have anything more to say i don't have anything more to ask the medal will be shown to you, maybe Smittler? <laughs> no, I I have actually zero doing in this. That's uh, all the TTT technical team, technical t- training team two. That's their medal. That's their uh, uh, their energy. Yeah. Yep. And that's now the only uh, thing that uh, goes for the last is words. The... Yes, I I've got something to say. Uh-oh. I want to thank um, you guys for giving us the opportunity to play this cup again. I mm-hmm. know there's like, yeah, a lot of work behind this to set this up and get everything organized. So thank you very much for that. And of course, um, I want to thank our clan for supporting us and yeah, in the trainings to, yeah, to get this far. And of course, my team that just amazed me tonight and yeah made me very proud i think you Take can be middle. really proud yeah yes so you heard that that jesus is really proud of you you will get a medal shown back to home it be, will be with nice flag this one doesn't have the dutch flag but the other one will so that's nice also a german flag of course don't forget the german flag there will be a vote after this for the mvp award and i've seen some uh some good mvp uh suitable players but that's up to the players itself um i'm the only thing i can say is go sit down you're sitting down already uh go to your team rewatch the stream rewatch the the things that we've been going through because we've been screaming to each other as well <laughs> yeah. and um i wish you all the best of luck thank you nick no problem. thank you very much yeah gentlemen yeah was not, thank you for having me and uh, yeah have a nice evening and, uh, have a nice evening yes same for you <laughs> oh I'm uh, still uh, I'm switching her back from Nefs I'm also switching you back bye <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm uh, still speechless I'm uh, I need to go that's my problem at this moment otherwise I would have stayed to talk about this longer um yeah. But what a game. Definitely what a, 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 re, a rewatch worthy. And I'm going to do that. I'm go- I'm curious about the German stream. I'm curious about Barbarian stream. How everybody reacted on it. And um, yeah. it well deserved by TTT. Their first medal. And uh, they can take that home. And you can yeah. hear it in the Jesus voice. That she uh, still was shaken. And that's, uh, oh, some- yeah. that's something uh, I like to see. Because I know that it's it can be mental breaking basically but they kept it together so i'm going to leave it with this one yeah we did it smittler we did it and uh we're going to leave it and i want to thank everybody and we will say goodbye to everybody yeah thank you nick and see you oh yeah join the discord join the discord join the discord